don't kill. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast, man. Episode 171. We got a uh, special guest in the building, man. I say it a lot, but he, this is really a dude I wanted to kind of talk to, man. But you know what I'm saying? He a uh, former football player. You know what I'm saying? Played football at Central State, whatever, dog. Yeah. Uh, promoter, educator, father, host, man. Uh, actor. You comedian too, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> comedian <laughs> and uh, one half for the uh, podcast, Breaking the Machine, man. We got uh, Dwayne Corey Davis Jr. Oh, yeah. AKA Spank the Bank, man. He did his research. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't never had nobody do no research on me. That feel good. <laughs> like, yeah, Dwayne, that's a, hey, that's a dope name, dog. My dad name, but he spelled it weird. For real? What he spelled it? He spelled it D W A I N. Mm, I never saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, I'm glad they didn't name him. I didn't like the way he spelled it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, like you had to, you got the cool way, like Dwayne Carter. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dwayne Rock Johnson. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dwayne way well, spelled his different too, though. His D W Y A N E. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm like, let me go ahead and get, put the government out there. Hopefully you don't, you know, what I'm saying got anybody looking for you, whatever. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I just paid my little tickets in Detroit. So <laughs> my parking tickets. For sure. For sure. Now we start off everything with salute me while I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know. Saying we wait for people to pass away before we give them that, that love, them flowers or whatever. Instead of you know saying showing him or or her, you know saying the, the love that they deserve while they still here. You know what I'm saying? But it can't be the easy answer. It can't be your girl, your your kid, parents, brothers, sisters. It gotta be somebody outside of that circle. Mm. So you got somebody you want to go ahead and show some love to? Mm. Outside of my outside of your core. Outside of my core. Yeah, because it's easy to say mom dudes or it's easy to say your girl and John, but. It's easy to say at home, boy, too, right? But you can do it. You can do it. Um, it's a couple people. Go ahead. You can shout a couple out. They ain't got to be one. Um, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Juan Doe, Jawan Howard. I'm mm -hmm. going to shout him out. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Uh, Sydney, Sydney Dixon. Okay. I'm going to shout him out. Uh, uh, Kaylin Johnson. I'm going to shout him out. All right. Uh, Tyrone Robinson. I'm going to shout him out. Um, For sure. Anthony Baker, <laughs> my <laughs> trainer. I'm going to shout him out. Which, hey, you should get him on for sure. For sure, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Who else, who else, who else, who else? Oh, Q, my boy Q, Q, Dwight, <laughs> Big Mari. You know what I'm saying? Then I, and then I got my home, home girls, you know, Shoo Shoo, Deja, yeah. Nady, yeah. Jade, Nay, Unique. <laughs> That's say Drea, Drea, Amber. You know what I'm saying? We love y'all. Yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all doing y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? Keep y'all heads up. And if I missed anyone, I apologize. Yeah, for sure. But, um, <laughs> you know, shout out to them. Yeah, he said, Choo Choo, Shay Shay. Yeah, yeah, Choo Choo, Lady, <laughs> DD. You know? Them like my people, like I grew up with in mm -hmm. the last 10 years. For sure, for sure. So, like, them people know me. Yeah. Uh, now, dang, I ain't I was, I'm going to shout my person out, but, uh, Oh, you, I know you. Um, you got a lady. That's your wife or yours? Your lady right now. That's my lady. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, shout out to her. Um, are are she, is she cool with you? Like having like friends of the opposite sex, and vice versa for you? Are you cool um, with her? I know you. You mentioned a couple. You know, homegirls. Yeah. Um. Well, I say she is. I mean, what I did was before we like really got serious. I brought her around my homegirl. For sure. For sure. You know, to show like these like really like my sisters like mm -hmm. you know especially like Shusu Deja and Eddie like we all. Went to school together and then like we just we created a bond. Yeah, for sure. Like a brother, like a sister a brotherhood bond, and uh, I want to keep that going. I mean, I know when you like, I don't talk to them as much as I used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But things like, change, yeah, yeah, things change. But I for sure like brought them around. Now with her, it's just you got to bring the nigga around. I got to feel his energy. <laughs> for you sure, we all fast. I got, sure. I got to feel his energy. I got to feel who he is and be like, if his energy off or. If I know he a fuck nigga, nah, he can't be, you can't be his friend or <laughs> no. shit. You can go fuck with him and leave him alone. <laughs> for sure, for so, sure. Like, you know, it, it's, it's double standards, but fuck it, I don't care. Like, I, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, no, uh, facts. No, I don't. Hell yeah, because I say my wife, though, her friends is my friends. Her friends yeah, is my yeah. family. My yeah. uncle, that's your friend. My, yeah. my brother, that's your friend. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because you got to read them like, I know how men are anyway. Yeah. So I got to know, like. All right, how, how long y'all knew each other, or mm -hmm. how do y'all become friends, stuff like that. So, yeah. but what I did was just bring my homegirls around. Like, sure. I just recently went to Chicago to my boy uh, 
the white and unique uh, baby shower. Mm-hmm. And you know, the white that's my man's and unique, that's my homegirl. Yeah. Like we just we just, uh clicked up and mm-hmm. uh and like the other girls I named Nay, Dre and all them, they they my other homegirls. Yeah. And they all we all went to the baby shower, they all kicked with my girl and stuff. Sure, and they also came yeah. to my baby shower. So Yeah, that's how I gotta be. You know, yeah, so it's just showing like yeah, I have female friends, but yeah. ain't nobody I talk to on a daily basis. For sure. Like, it can't be no undercover friend. Like, that's your friend, but you ain't even told your girl about it and shit yeah, like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. you got some relationships like that. Like, you super tight with them, but you ain't said nothing to your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all the yeah. half. You, you right. <laughs> that's, that's how you get caught with some bullshit. Yeah, exactly. And you wasn't even really in no bullshit. That was really your friend, but you just never told her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's about to she probably, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody who's going through shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm going to salute. Um, my cousin, man, I salute him already, but this time I want to go ahead and put some, some extra on him, man. My my cousin Maurice, man, uh, he's through marriage. He married my um my cousin Gina. Mm-hmm. His mom passed away uh two three days ago in a house fire. Uh, she been living mm-hmm. with them for like twenty years, and I guess they still don't know how house caught on fire, but she was in it. And to lose your mom, like to lose your mom or dad, period, is messed up. Yeah. I've been through it. I've been through it, you but uh. But though, for you lose your mom in a fire, house fire, like that shit just terrible, bro. So mm-hmm. I just want to go ahead and show him some love, show them some love, praying for the family. I know there ain't going to be nothing you can really like get over, but I just hope, you know what I'm saying, that you can get the strength to be able to get through it with, for your kids and your wife and shit. Who you, uh, you, who you lose? Man, I was going to talk to you about that. We can get it out early, dog. Yeah, 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 <laughs> shit, yeah. I lost my pops in 20, 2000. Damn. 2000, when I was in eighth grade, I lost my moms in 2012. You know what I'm saying? So that shit, I know, I know firsthand, like nigga, the 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 trials and errors and then the. How old were you? Lost your pop? You said eighth grade. Thirteen. Damn. Yeah. About to be fourteen. So like, he he was a uh, basically like a in a vegetable state or whatever. I don't know what exactly happened, uh-huh. but I just know for like a year or two he was like just there. Mm-hmm. His body was there, but his it's spirit mine, was gone. Mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't really say nothing. Couldn't even make an expression or nothing. So and then my mom, she passed. She had a uh, brain aneurysm. So you, what's that? How that's you, when you uh, develop a tumor in your brain, damn. and you could live with it. But like, if you stress, they say if you stress real bad, bro, uh, any injuries to the head, it could trigger and make it explode. Yeah, stress is really stress is the one killer. All death. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And then we stress all the time as black people, just oh, man, day to day. Well, because we ain't wasn't taught nothing. Yeah. Now so for, we talk backwards. That's all. Yeah. Now your uh, I know your pops passed what yeah, a two year years ago. ago, year yeah, ago, a year ago. It's crazy. Your pops' birthday. Is the day that my mom passed, April second. Damn. Yeah, Damn, yeah. I've been doing this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, you, you make me want to get on my A game. Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Some guys I don't read, you know, research like that. I do though. I just I don't know. I just want to, you know. I was, yeah, to have something to talk about. Yeah, then yeah, damn. you just get catch me some dead shit. But yeah, you know, what I'm saying, how was it, bro? Like, I know you were old as a, 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 ten. a ten. Yeah. Um. Like, and you losing your pops, man. Him being that man of the family, like. And I know you probably still dealing with that because it's still yeah. fresh. Last year, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't. Last year, when I didn't deal with it mentally, mm-hmm. more so. I feel like this year I'm dealing with it more mentally. Like I can't call him. It's this time of the season of sports. My dad was a sports head, oh, so man, like yeah. I can't talk to him about sports. You know, things I go through with like a female can't call and ask like, what should I do? Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's like I'm searching for like guidance right yeah. now. Yeah. And um, it been tough though. You know, like. I don't know what to think. I know it's been tough. Like, you know, you you think about the afterlife. Like, will I see him again? And, and if I do, will he look the same? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What, like, what body will he be? If, will he be a spirit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot. Because, you know, I was, uh, I remember one time I told my sister. She was like, you know, we'll see him again, you know, in heaven and stuff. I'm like, man, when I read, it said we just spirits. So yeah. we just spirits. I, I ain't trying to be like mean. And I'm, I don't think we'll see him again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't know. Yeah. No, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. We really don't know. Like, if we, especially if we just spirit and just our body is a vessel. So, like, how do we really, you know, know what we going to see when, mm. once we leave up out of here? For sure. You know? yeah. So, uh, it's like, damn, don't take shit for granted. I feel like anybody out there that still had their parents or their father or mother, including myself, I still have my mother. You know, just try every day to still build a relationship mm-hmm. and be the bigger person. Yeah. Because a lot of times, um, as you grow, you know, you, you like, like, distance yourself from things or family mm-hmm. sometimes you just gotta be a bigger person and just be like well one day this person won't be here so yeah. let me just at least call or yeah, have a man. conversation you yeah know? exactly man me, me and my wife something like that cause uh, she was kinda talking about the relationship with her and her sisters and stuff and how it's not close but like what advice would you give her if she keep trying keep trying but she not receiving that same type of 
You know what I'm saying? They're not coming to the middle. It's like her just coming all the way, but they ain't I mean, it's going to be their fault at the end of the day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, she's doing she's doing it right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's, it's going to be on them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be their fault. So, she, she 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 doing the right thing. Yeah, for sure. Now, during that, during that time, bro, I know it had to be like some, some you went through like maybe some depressed states or whatever Man, like that. Listen. How you get through that shit, bro? I don't even know. The gym. <laughs> you might uh, even, if, if she, are you still going through it? I feel like I'm still... Going through it a yeah. little bit now. Now I'm, I'm trying to be more masculine. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like that ain't a good thing at a, at times. Yeah. But um, really like going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Um, man, at one point I was just watching Power Rangers, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, take you back. Yeah, take me back to as a child. Like I was just, just up on YouTube just watching Power Rangers. Yeah. Like just to, I don't know, maybe feel like a kid again around that time. Mm -hmm. Um, looking at my daughter, man. Like cause my dad died from diabetes, so mm -hmm. like looking at my daughter, it's like shit. I ain't gonna be here for a whole man. life. So now, I think a way is to try to stay healthier. Like, mm -hmm. man, my goal is at least to get to eighty. For 90. sure, yeah. Shit, really. If I can go past ninety, I love that. But yeah. um, try to be here as long as I can for my daughter. You mm -hmm. know, or whatever other. If I have more children after her, mm -hmm. but just try to be here longer for them. And um, you know, this be this be a great this be a great role model. Yeah. Um, that's all I think. That's what's helping me. Uh, trying to start a nonprofit with a uh, with a group of mine. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went to high school with so like just trying to do things that he taught me and instill to other children you know i'm a teacher so mm. I, what he what he is still in me i still to my to the young the young men and young ladies in my class no for sure now your daughter she she young she had what two or three one one so oh, i was just with her all day yeah. so this morning you know so, we uh went to the mall yeah. took her to lego land yeah. <laughs> fed her some lunch and then i just, just dropped her off to yeah. uh, my sisters so. now how important is it for you to create these memories that she remember because i know our um i, I know I, you had said something about like Missing listening to 80s music with your pops, man, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, can you still listen? Like, because music really like brings all type of different emotions dog, out of you. When I listen to like old school music, space, like uh, Ready for the World, yeah. that song Love You Down, like my dad used to play that. Mm -hmm. and oh, Sheila, a lot. And like, as I got older, listen, I'm like, damn, this shit a banger. Like, <laughs> no, I see no, why he was banging yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Sure, like, especially that Love You Down, I'm like, damn, <laughs> let me love you down. <laughs> yeah. Like for like for like for like February, like well one more I listened to that song like three or four times but it really clicked like mm -hmm. damn my dad was really cool as hell like yeah. we used to ride around listen to you know old school R and B mm -hmm. like we listen to rap here and there like he okay he listen to rap but he wouldn't listen to like Earth Wind and Fire that man love Earth Wind and Fire for sure. you know we'll go around banging Earth Wind and Fire mm -hmm. you know um, me and my like my daughter I try to listen to that type of stuff you know yeah. with her uh, like a little bit of Chris Brown but also I try to watch because. It's so much demonic shit in in, in, in the industry. Yeah. You know, I really try to watch what I play around. Like growing up, my dad we used to watch Michael Jackson videos all day, <laughs> no, for sure. all day, dog. Like my girl, like, why are you always watching YouTube? I'm like, it's kind of a habit. Like mm -hmm. growing up, we used to watch. I, I seen a Men in Black video. I don't know how many times. <laughs> my dad had a, a DVD of Will Smith videos, a DVD. This for YouTube and all no, that stuff was sure. out. Yep. But like we was already, uh, you know, hooked on it. He had DVD of Michael Jackson, all the videos. Like we used to go to Blockbuster and go buy him or rent him out. Throwback. Yeah, dog. Mm -hmm. And just and just and just, or any type of uh, uh, video. Story. You know, you had off brand video stories. Yeah, little bullet yeah, yeah, we had one. On, yeah, it was one on Linwood. I think it was called Super Video. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> it was on Linwood and Puritan, but um, got the little print out on the boy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man, this I try to you know listen to like you know smooth moves. Like I ain't gonna lie, she was sleep mm -hmm. when I was gonna drop her off. So I was listening to Big Mill, though. I was banging the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, she ain't really up, but. I even watch how to, I try not to cuss around. It's a lot, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Especially having little girls. Cause I got two older boys. Then I got a young daughter. Mm -hmm. She young as well. She uh she be three. So mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta watch because fresh, fresh. Yeah, too. so she you the person that she gonna fall in love with first. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. That's the person she gonna probably be attracted to when she get older. Yeah. So you gotta be that example. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no nah, facts. Like I, I be on that. Like I'm trying to make sure she stay girly girl. You know, was yeah. it right from wrong? You a woman? Yeah. You know, I, I be on that. Like, yeah, man. You like men? <laughs> yeah, like, for sure. You know, you gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta. You gotta you know, really instill that in, in them, you know, because mm -hmm. today, in today's society, you know, they trying to tell us anything and Man, everything, and it's, on, all, and it's all backwards. Yeah, and, and then, I see, I hate speaking on it because I don't know, you know, how yeah. people be feeling, but it's just like, it's just too much now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, the only thing we had to understand was like, okay, uncle, my uncle drink gay. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah, you that's know what I'm saying? But now, yeah. like, you got to be like, you got to, hey, they might, they want to be a, they're a man, but they identify as a woman, or mm -hmm. they don't identify as nothing. It's kind of tough because then, 
you don't even know how to even bring up relationships to certain people because you don't know how, how they identify, so you don't want to disrespect nobody. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Dating world is probably tough right now. Um, yeah. Just because of that, you know, he, she, they, her, he, he, whatever. Yeah. You know, pronouns and stuff like that. Like Bro, that. they do that shit in school. Now I even know it till my son told me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because like they had, you know, your car, your little contact junk, and then they yeah. ask like, he was like, dog, they ask if you were him, or, 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 or her, or they, or... What's it? What's it? Should matter, you know. You know, it's it's none but you know two two genders. So yeah, um, it, it's just here to confuse us. You for know? sure. Yeah. And, uh, facts over feelings every day, all day. No, for sure, man. I don't want to stay. I don't want to stay on yeah, there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got to. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to because I don't either. So. <laughs> Get my ass canceled. Hell yeah, a mom gonna be mad as hell. Like bro, hey, our podcast ain't doing nothing no more because of you, man. Damn, man, you should have no. went on shot of show, man. <laughs> But uh, with your pops, what's one thing, what's one important thing you took from him and you're going to go ahead and pass down to your kids? Uh, character, um, personality. Mm -hmm. uh, I think personality. Like, I have a big personality and I got it from him. So, um, loving. Like, my dad loved everybody. You know, mm -hmm. He was very loving. So, loving. Like I said, I'm, no matter if you gay, straight, whatever, he loves you. You know, and take sure. you in. So, yeah. I'm still the same way, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this 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 love, you know what I'm saying? This love, this give out love, and you're gonna receive it back ten yeah. times, ten times better. Facts. Because if I, I'm in a good position in my life because I always gave out love. So, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna always be straight. Like things can definitely be worse than what they are, but man, because I gave out love and I treat people right, mm -hmm. I'm in the best position in my life ever. Hell so, yeah. yeah, that's all you can do. Yeah, that's all you yeah. can do until somebody disrespect you. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And even that, I'm gonna beat your ass out of love. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I ain't gonna kill you, but I'm gonna beat your, your ass. ass. Out of love. <laughs> no, cause I heard you on, uh, on the the last solo episode that y'all did. Mm -hmm. And you was you was talking about like like that aggression, like you want to beat people's ass and just staying yeah. quiet and really like reading people before you make any moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, duh. that shit funny as hell. Like I'm, I'm gonna beat your ass with love. Yeah, there's yeah. gonna be some love in that motherfucker. I could do a lot more damage. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, the one last thing I want to talk touch on a while back, you had said like since your pet your dad pop your your dad passed. That you feel like it was a lot of pressure on you with your siblings. Yeah. You being the oldest. Like, how are you dealing with that? Are you like, are you stressing yourself too much to try to go ahead and maybe uh, take take the spot that your dad was, you know what I'm saying? Like going to games and being there for your brothers and sisters. Like, is yeah. it a little too much for you? No, I mean, at one point it was, but now I kind of like like soothed and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Um at first, at first it was, but now I'm like, I'm just gonna do it on my time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? God gave, you know, God put me in a position where it's gonna happen you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying um it's just take time for sure and not to you know like you said stress or pressure about it you yeah. know what i'm saying I, I still got family in myself exactly also i got my you know it's gonna work out you yeah. know so i'm not even tripping it's gonna work out as long as i stay focused and disciplined yeah as for a sure. man you know it's gonna come man. to fruition yeah man. 10, 10 10 kids that gotta be a motherfucking yeah it's a lot of household <laughs> Man, it was fun, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Like, I, I, I love my childhood, bro. I love sure. my brothers and sisters. You know, uh, they made me who I am. You know, they made my job that I do not easier because I grew up with 10 children. I can easily teach or be around 10 plus students in the classroom. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I was telling one of my coworkers yesterday, like, you know, teaching, I ain't gonna, it's not easy, but it's it's kind of, it's easier, to, it's a little bit easier to me because I've been around children my whole life. Exactly. I've always been around, like I said, my auntie had, my auntie Karen had 12, my auntie Rhonda had nine, I believe, and I'm all first cousins. Yeah, That's dang, my mama's yeah. sisters, you know Man, what I'm saying? So yeah, we come from a big, and yeah, my mama had, my mama, mama had 10 kids. She had seven boys and three girls. Hey, y'all family deep. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell. <laughs> family shout deep. out to the Hayes's, you know what I'm saying? My mom Hayes and shout out to the Davis. Hayes? Yep, you got Hayes. a cousin named William Hayes? Like 36, 37, 36 with Southeastern. I don't know. Bro. Okay, okay, my head. <laughs> it's amazing yeah, yeah, out there. Yeah, bro. we deep as hell. I know we. They grew up on the. They grew up. They grew up on the John R. Okay. Area over there on Andover. Okay. So okay. that's where they. They all went to Persian. Okay. Okay. So and all my my daddy side, everybody went to Mumford. Mm hmm. So, but um, yeah, man, having a big family like that, that's what made it so easy for me to be in that classroom to to play with the kids. You know, teach the kids like I, I've been around in my whole life and mm -hmm. uh. It, it, it's been cool, you know. I, it, some days I feel like my my like right now my little brother he the only boy in there. Mm -hmm. My and like my other brother autistic, but you know they they still kick it. But you know, yeah. you know I ain't gonna say because he's autistic, but you know, it's a little, little different. Yeah, 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 but um, you know he I'm always here with the girls and all. Like I went through that, mm -hmm. but luckily like my dad made sure I was always over my auntie Ronda house, auntie Karen house. So I was always with my cousins Andrew, Sam, and them. Yeah. So 
I was pretty much good. That's why I said my child was fun, bro. For sure, hell yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I won't Man. switch nothing about it. That's why I said when you talk about music, just listen to music. Then as soon as you, as soon as you hear a certain song or a certain album, it take you right back. Like yep. damn. Yeah, like confessions that take me back, bro. When I was on <laughs> Linwood, or back when we used to be on Prairie, like the Chris Brown that first album. Yeah. Take me back when I was at middle school and in the dance, you know, dancing in, on, on, like on the, uh, the the school back, you know, school little parties, <laughs> sure, yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, it, it's no. crazy. Like I some albums I remember. Remember, like vividly, like I know exactly what exactly. I was doing around that time. Exactly. That's why I tell my son, man. Like I'm like, you getting older now, bro? Like you got two more years in, in high school. I ain't gonna say the, the real world gonna hit. Cause I'm still gonna. I'm not gonna be one of the parents that get the hell out. I'm still gonna look yeah. out for you, but it's gonna be different. Once you turn 18, yeah. like shit gonna be different, bro. Like yeah, yeah. I, uh, I feel like when you turn 25. Yes, yeah, yeah. Cause really, eighteen. You, you know, still a kid. You still yeah, know nothing. You, you still nothing. learning. You still learning. Like when I was eight, that was like I said, that was ten years ago for me. Mm. And uh, I ain't no shit. <laughs> no, no, you nigga. I, I, I start. I, I created my own identity from like eighteen or twenty five. Yeah, you know, yeah. I took what I learned, but I started trying to discover the shit I was learning. Like, was the shit I'm learning real for or sure. this and that? Yeah. So, man, yeah. yeah. And matter of fact, on that last episode, y'all was talking about um. A mob about to be 24. Oh, he yeah. just turned 24. Yeah, be 24. And you were talking about, like, at 24, like, how you were just out here just, you know Man. what I'm saying, buying shit, having Man. a good time. And um, it just, it kind of seemed like, well, my like, he a good dude. He put a lot of pressure on himself, it seemed like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at 24, I was thinking about me at 24. Oh, my God. Wildin'. Nigga, I had my son. I took care of my son. I was a great yeah. dad, bro. But I was in the streets, like, just having a good time, trying to get girls. and. Man, bro, I was, I, it was, listen. I think when I turn when I turn twenty four, if I had my own, like I kind of like slowed down, mm -hmm. but like man, when I was twenty four, I had a I had a Chally, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I had a two thousand seventeen Chally. Mm -hmm. That bitch was clean. Yeah, for sure. Was max <laughs> steel, you know what I'm saying? I was working at Enterprise, so I was making fifty. Nah, the more I think about, it, like I was making good money. Making I just know how to manage it. Yeah, I was making fifty five, fifty a year. You know what I'm saying? For a twenty four year old, that's yeah, great. That's great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm at Enterprise, and then I got the deals at Enterprise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. It, it was like I said. I went to California that year. Um, I went to Cali that year. Um, what else I do? I was just I was everywhere. I was hosting parties sure. still. Yeah. I was at Twenty Nine Park faithfully. Yeah, man. man, faithfully pulling chicks. You know what I'm saying? Figuring out what I like and what I don't yeah. like. For sure. Like, bro, I was just out here. That's why I was like, man, 24, bro. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even think about nothing serious bro. until I turned 25. Like 24, I didn't. Man. Think about like that's like that's why I applaud him. Like he's so smart. Yeah, at he that do. Age. No, he do a lot because I got when he was on the show. I'm like, bro. You act, you carry yourself like you in your thirties. Yeah, yeah. Like you know a lot of shit. Like yeah. smart young dude, whatever guy. Like you know what I'm saying, going on he for himself. He was like you could tell he was definitely like brought up that like taught that way. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like me, I was just like I was I was brought up in the church. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know we still. I was pre I'm a preacher kid, so my daddy was a minister, minister yeah. too. So yeah, you know. Now I always ask this with the girls, dog. Preacher kid girls, they be out here freaks. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. the boys be worse. <laughs> I was saying like, well, how was it for you? Like, would you like? Was it was it I hard for you? Yeah. I wasn't that bad. Like, yeah. I wasn't that bad. Like I know people that's way worse than me. <laughs> Cause y'all go to those girls have been locked down and feel like you know. What I'm saying? I wasn't locked down though. Yeah. Okay. See, okay. see, I was just telling my girl that last night. Like me, I, I like I said, I got seven sisters. They, they like some of the stuff I think about. Like, damn, my daddy didn't used to let me go to my girlfriend's house, sure, go yeah. take her to the movies. Like them niggas knew what I was doing. Yeah. But yeah, I guess because yeah. I was a boy. Yeah, you got a little bit more Man, leeway. I had a lot of leeway with yeah. this. Like, now nah, I think about it, but I had a lot of leeway with mm -hmm. it. For real, for real. Damn, all the, when I went to college, it was over for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, on that same, you said some real shit to him, bro. You said that um, what you're doing right now, you ain't got to worry about chasing or in your 30s, you know what I'm saying, catching up in your 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's real shit because, like, me, I don't feel like I started, like, really being uh, adult until I was, like, 30, 31. I'm 37 now, mm -hmm. so like I'm, I feel like I was behind. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I was like kind of mad myself. I'm like, damn, if I was doing this in my 20s, mm -hmm. shit be set right now. Mm -hmm. I'm still playing catch up a little bit. So that was some real shit you said to him because like at the age he had by, right now, by the time he's 34, he can relax. Yeah, he can relax. Like and really, as a man, if you really don't hit your real peak as a man until you're 40. Yeah, for and sure. And if you really think about it, like the man, like one of my mentors, Colin Johnson, shout out to him. You know. I, that's why I should get a shout out to for real. Because it wasn't for him. Like, if I ain't never meet him, like, my mind, bro, he off my mind so much shit. But, um, he 40. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And what he about to touch now is crazy. Like his next ten year run is about to be crazy because he learned so much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In forty years, like he's he's ready, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's ready to to, to do more. You know what I'm saying? He's ready. He's more polished. You know what I'm saying? We, I think with today's time, like social media and shit, like people forget to make mistakes. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going. Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to make mistakes at 24. I'm going to make mistakes at 28. Like. I know right now I'm still kind of wild. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know when I look I'm 35 and I look back, I'll be like, damn, I can't believe I was doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm sure, saying? Yeah. But yeah. And it probably be something some, little small. Some minute shit. Yeah. It ain't, you know, but, you know, man. Yeah, you you know, you, you it's, it is best to start you're like younger now. It is. But, it is. but you still got to be, you still, still want to be young and yeah, enjoy Yeah, you still want, at the end of the day, because you're going to start moving like an old man. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Your mind ain't going to be like, you know, you're going to start moving like an old man. Like, you know, you still want to stay youthful. That's why I stay around the youth. Mm -hmm. Like, I see, like, Damn, the youth run the world. Like, even when I be in the weight room, they be in there, I be getting pumped. Yeah. I try, I'm trying to go as hard as them. Exactly. Let exactly. y'all know, like, yeah, I, I keep up with y'all. I still can do it. I Hell still yeah. do it. You know what I'm saying? That's so, how I am when I coach basketball, trying mm -hmm. to be out there working with them niggas. I'll be, yeah. man. You got to stay with the youth, man. That's the only way you're going to be here. I feel like that's the only way you can still be here for a long time. Just mm -hmm. stay with the youth. That's you. even like Nick, everybody with the music shit, bro. Like, that's mm. one thing Snoop Dogg said. Like, he never really dissed. The youth because yeah shit they, they ones who doing the shit they running this shit right now yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying so you might as well go ahead and adapt to them and not be dissing that's or like, give them some game that's what kept him relevant to be honest yeah he always stayed with the youth you know what I'm saying like it's just you know Pac just always stayed with I'm not Pac yes. I'm on Snoop. Snoop yeah yeah because then Pac was probably the coldest yeah. who, who mm -hmm. your coldest all right you grew up around Pac era for sure so like who your uh who your favorite MC to come through like who man my top three is uh in order is Pac Wayne Nas ooh. Ooh, that's, that's my. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, that's my. That's my. Cause I was, like Pop was, I like my. That was the only rapper that my mom and dad really listened to. Was mm. Tupac. So I kind of like started loving him just cause of that. That's the only thing I heard as far as rap. And then Wayne. That's when I got into my rap bag. Like mm -hmm. I like rap. This this nigga cold. Yeah, Wayne like, was. Block cold. is hot. Yeah, yeah. Then the Carters came, and then the Miss tapes, the squad ups. So like Carter two is hardest hardest Carter though. Thank you, dog. I've been trying to tell this dude that for a long Which time. Which one he said the first one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that second one. Man, I don't think that first one close. That, I think that second one was was that bitch no skips. <laughs> that second one hard, that, bro. That, that 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 second one put them on. That's for real, my for first. Real. That's my first learned about currency. Yeah, yeah. That second one. That second one put them on the map. Duh. Now the first one was hard. Yeah, don't get it me was. wrong. But the second one is my favorite one. So I think the second one put them like more mainstream. The third one. That's when he kind of got a look. It was it was what? Some good, it was some, I, it was fifty fifties. Half of the album damn. I like, half of I don't. I never heard nobody say that. Yeah, it's just like to me the car three thought, was more. More commercial. To me, I like commercial albums. Yeah, though. like um, Amelia, that's one of the hardest beats and songs yeah, ever, yeah, though. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, What's your yeah. top three? Uh, I'm going to say Pop. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Nas, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna, it's between Meek and Jay. Okay, okay, okay. Meek and Jay. Uh, it yeah. depends how I'm feeling. I'm going to say Meek. Yeah. Because that's like more my era. For sure. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's something. And I seen what, what he did after that, after he got. Like demolish that for after Drake and how he still kept going. Like yeah, yeah, Drake, yeah. a lot of people don't talk about like yeah he he yeah that back to back he got yeah. he got meek but that damn Nigga. wins and losses album after he he dropped after that bitch mm -hmm. he was coming yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Ch Ch Champions that was, championship that was hard. Was hard yeah, championship dog. Was like, hard, you know, I'm like really dog been dropping sweet. I heard six. there's a rumor that him and uh, Ross supposed to be dropping a collab album together. They didn't squash that little beef and stuff. They supposed to be coming I hope up so. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm trying to think how that sound because Ross last shit was kind of. Uh, the one before that was hard. Yeah, with the yeah. one we had. The album uh, my eye on there. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that yeah. was cold. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. That's 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 like a top fifteen. Yeah, album. but you talking about what's name? Um, when we had the Outlaws on. Put Miami too. No, it's the one after that one. He dropped one more after that one. Oh shit, that nigga dropped so much though. Yeah, it was, <laughs> you know, see, probably my, see them last two, but they was like, uh, Ross, what the fuck? <laughs> For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, dog, talk about this year, bro. Like. Hot is almost over. Damn, man, this man, September, over. September first. Damn, today first. Damn, today shout out to my parents. This day, uh, this will be their 29th year anniversary. Oh shit, yeah, man. Salute, yeah, salute, yeah. salute, salute, salute to that. Bro, yeah, 29 years, bro. I'm on my what? Where am I? I'm in year three. Year three. Okay, okay. Yeah, year three. <laughs> I had to think about that shit real quick. <laughs> but though, how was this year for you though so far, man? Like, what was some ups and downs? Man, like this year been some. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I took a lot of hits, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of losses early on. Yeah. I took a couple wins, but. I took a lot of lessons mm -hmm. early on. Like I said, I had my car broke down. So like my car, so I had, went. I was working at a DPS, making okay. making you know okay money. Then I went to another job, making some great money. Yeah, to be a, you know fifth grade teacher. Mm -hmm. So a month into my job, my damn truck broke down. Damn. 
So I had to get my car to to my girl because you know she got the baby. So for sure she got to be the one. Yeah. yeah. So um, I gave her my car, and then came back like my it cost seventy nine hundred get my truck fixed. So I'm like, <laughs> damn. damn. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like everybody telling me to get a new car, but I'm like fuck no. Yeah. Why, why, why? It was the engine that went out. I'm thinking in my mind. I'm like, bro, why would I get a new car? And put myself back in debt. Yeah. I yeah. got a truck that's already not in debt. Yeah, for sure. I'd rather just take that hit, say nine hundred. Yeah. Pay that shit, and I'm, I'm back rolling. Exactly. So, which I did end up doing, but uh, but yeah, I had to like I had to I had to take the bus. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I had I was taking, I was uh. Taking a bus from like Oak Park all the way to Har Harper Woods. Okay. But also in the midst of that, I was going to the gym in the morning. So the gym, I went to Super Bad Gym mm -hmm. on Puritan, Wyoming, Tony Harrison Gym. Go yeah. work out with Fit God. So I ride my bike there. The mm -hmm. bike ride was 24 minutes. So I ride, get up. I get up about 4 o'clock, get on my bike, get mm -hmm. there about 4.45, sometimes 5 o'clock on the dot. Mm -hmm. Go in there, work out for an hour. Like I had to leave exactly before six thirty yeah. to get to catch that seven mile bus. Yeah, for sure. And then so yeah, I can make sure I get to work because yeah. the bus take about an hour. So man, I go in there and work out for a good ass hour. That's why I say I fucked them tools up because yeah. I was wearing them tools to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on my bike and stuff. I'm kind of sick. Like damn, I fucked. I, I wasn't even supposed to do all that. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But I was just I was just putting on shit, man. I was just like, I'm just trying to get to work, bro. Yeah. But um, so I used to, you know work out, then hop in the shower, hurry up, hop in the shower. Tell everybody peace. Hop on that bike yeah. and then roll down all the way down to Seven Mile. Now the first time I did it, I forgot about the bus. I'm my dumb man. I can't believe I really did it, bro. I drove, my, I rode my bike from Pearson, Wyoming, all the way and heart to Harper Woods. Damn, you tripped, damn, bro. I can't but listen. Yo, why you do that? <laughs> I didn't even think about taking a bus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My dumb ass like, damn, I gotta take, I got, I gotta get to work. Yeah, bro, I really rode dog. from from dog. I rode from Puritan, Wyoming. <laughs> I went all the way down to I went uh, Wyoming. I don't even know the route. The Wyoming took me. Uh, I, I'm on Puritan, Puritan, and I took Puritan all the way to Fairfield, and then uh, Fairfield to shit. Duh. Mid Nichols. Then I took Mid Nichols to John R. Then John R. to Seven Mile. <laughs> Bro, what's so crazy? To, my bro, what's so crazy? The first time I did it, my damn uh, seat came off. So I'm like, bro, are you fucking serious? So, I, but listen, I'm like, my seat came off. I'm like, I ain't gonna ride, but I knew like God about to get me, bro. God yeah. about to help me. So for sure, he better for yeah, that. So, yeah. So, so so luckily, I seen a dude at the gas station. Mm -hmm. A dude at the gas station, like a uh, like a homeless guy. I'm like, hey man, you know how to fix this bike? Mm -hmm. You know, he's just trying shit. Yeah. Then it's a guy that's he he he. It's a guy that's hitting the blunt. He come out the car. Like, I got some pliers in my car. I can. Yeah. I'm like, bet. Tighten him up. Yeah. Tighten up. He boom boom. Put the seat back in. Punched it back in. I'm like, bro, thank you. Yeah. And then uh, I gave dog. I'm like, all I got is a dollar, big homie. Here yeah. go a dollar. Man, right when I'm about to get on the bus roll past. So I'm like, and that's when it clicked in my mind, like, damn, I could have took the bus. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even thinking. I'm so macho, man, like, fuck, I'm gonna ride this bitch all the way through. That's cause I was reading that David Goggins book. Yeah. And he was talking about how he was riding this bike 25 miles to work and back. Like, that was some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't duh. have to do I don't have to work that hard if I got to. <laughs> so. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I was on. That's what, exactly what I was on. So I got I got back I got the bike fixed. It's the first time I got the bike fixed, and I'm just riding. No music, fucking nothing. Just yeah, riding, right, bro. Just, oh, then thoughts. it started raining. I'm like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> bro, it started raining. But then, nigga, I, actually, I did have some music. I did have some music. Yeah. It started raining. Because once I got close, I, I put on some Meek Mills. I just started jamming all the way yeah, there. Yeah, bro, I couldn't believe I rode seven mile that whole ride, oh. bro. I took seven mile all the way to Maross. Then, shit, Maross. Then I, Harper, whatever. Oh. Then I pulled up to the school exactly at like eight. 05, 8, 10, I sat in my seat. Was like, I can't believe I just Duh. did that shit. <laughs> you needed another shot when you got there, bro. bro. What? <laughs> what? Duh, so, I got, so this is so I'm I'm thinking this guy be like four. Like you got be. No, it's like in March. March. Okay, okay, okay. okay. March in February. Duh. Yeah. So it's still cold. Cause yes, that's bro. that cold morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be January to be honest. Duh. It might have been in January, or February, but like, man, but. Man, cause at first it was I had a coworker that used to, that used to pick me up, drop me off at work, and then he got fired. Yeah, so I I was on my own, and oh, damn. I had to just uh <laughs> figure it out. But man, I ain't gonna lie, I did that shit every day, though. I got yeah. on that bike, 
Got went to the gym. I thought I went to the gym. Went to work. Yeah. Then hopped on. And then I had to pick up my daughter before six o'clock. So I'm already coming from from, from daycare. So yeah. I'm already coming from. Um, so you busting into the daycare too? Yes. Damn. Like, I, I used to get off on Eight Mile Coolidge. Yeah. And ride my bike to the to the crib. Put the, mm. put the bike down. I used to always make it to the daycare about five forty five. Okay. So by that time you 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 lay in the crib with the car and shit. No, nah, she uh. At oh, work. so you walking back there to get her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm walking some days. Uh, That's a, you got a long fucking week, though. I'm thinking, yeah, man. I did. That, I can't believe I did that shit, bro. Like, some I, days, how long you did that shit, bro? I, shit, I ain't get the car back to the end of May. Yeah. So, so yeah, I did that shit from from like March to May. Yeah, yeah. That's before, but before you was getting ride with your coworker. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. So on the on the on the D, uh, Detroit bus, cause it's been a while. You can put your bike on the front of it. Yup, yup, yup. Put my yeah, put it on the front, man. I'll be like, yo, stop the bus. I'm getting off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my stop. Yeah. It's like, but um, bro, that shit. A salute to you, dog. Man, cause somebody would be like, would make an excuse like, oh, I can't get to work. So man. no, fuck that, nigga. You you show dedication by hitting that gym. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Like that shit. That's why I said I fuck with fit. You gotta, you gotta get my hair. But like, um, damn. Yeah, that's kind of how I want my body to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's for like, sure. shit. I gotta keep going. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that was like also my therapy. You yeah, feel for me? sure. That was my, that was my therapy. Damn. To get in there to. Ain't no, no yeah. I can't. I don't want. I ain't gonna make no excuses now. I to hear that story, man, boy. Cause you, <laughs> you can't, man. Like shit. Cause you always gotta look at. It. It's always somebody up there. Working harder as you, so mm -hmm. you gotta continue to work hard no matter what. Damn, so you waking up like what three, three, three four in the morning? Four in the morning, morning yep. And I, bro, some days I ride my bike to Planet Fitness and hop on the stairmaster, mm -hmm. then go to the gym. I used to go to the gym twice. Like that was somewhere. Like I was really trying to like, trying to be on some like yeah. some some Hercules type yeah, but, shit. But look at y'all show from episode one to now. You can tell like you been that boy getting your your, your workout on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that something that kind of like you know what I'm saying? When I first started the show, bro, I was on my like alkaline diet. I was on like that Dr. Sebi stuff. Mm -hmm. Then I had I went back to American diet, but I'm slowly trying to go back to it to because mm -hmm. when I was around that time, I was I was clear. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was real clear. Um, <laughs> man, I was real clear around that time. Now I was just just be eating up this American diet, but um, yeah, when I first started, I for sure was on that. Now when you on that type of diet, bro, because like my wife, she been doing things like just portion control. Because mm. that's I think that's that's how we we get you know what I'm saying our shape and stuff because we eating over, over to, eat. oh, yeah to you you be full you be good but you Man, get more, more or you yeah. get made that big ass plate so now she been losing weight just doing portion controls so when you are on a diet like and trying different things don't it costs a lot of money just to, to eat right it seemed like no nah, it don't it don't like school me because it's saying when you go to the stores, the stores like the I mean the what do shit be costing so much no it really don't it depends how much you get and like you said it goes with portion like. I think that's one of the biggest myths to me is that you know healthy food costs a lot. Like mm -hmm. you get a pair, a couple bag of apples for like what two dollars that mm -hmm. could last you for the week. For sure, you know um, watermelon seven ninety nine. But I, used to, I, I, I was just doing it a couple weeks ago. I eat watermelon all all week. Mm -hmm. I buy watermelon one watermelon. It lasts until Thursday. I mm -hmm. buy another one Friday. You know it's, it's and then like you could spend the most you spend is one fifty. Yeah, that's that's all you need. You don't need nothing else. You know for sure. portions like you, ooh, excuse me. Like you said, you know, just portion your food. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you you eat in the morning or really you drink water in the morning. Like mm -hmm. your first meal is not till 12. Mm -hmm. And then your next meal is like around 3. It's a piece of snack. Like yeah. uh, it's a snack on something, nothing heavy. Then 6 o'clock, eat a piece of fruit. Yeah. And you... Yeah, you good to go. Yeah, you good to go. Man. You know what I'm saying? But make sure that, that from like 12 to 3, you got a big old raw meal. Yeah. Like I used to have like a big salad, a big fruit salad. Just make sure, you know, it's nice and heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, not, you know, it can fill you up. Yeah, and for then, sure. And then, um, like I said, you snack on a piece of fruit or something, or snack on whatever you want to snack on some dates or something. Yeah. Then for dinner, eat an apple, banana, some more watermelon or mm. whatever is in season. Yeah. And then you pretty much good to go. So you don't eat one. Water. You don't eat one big meal throughout. Yeah, the day. one big meal throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. That's why we like when they say healthy food is uh, expensive. That's man, unhealthy food is expensive as hell. Yeah. If you think about it, like. A, a lot of even me, I can eat more than two McDoubles. I mean, yeah. one than McDoubles. <laughs> yeah, you for get, sure. You get you paying like three or four, five dollars for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Already six dollars now. Yeah. And then so imagine if you get one of them a day. That's thirty bucks you just spend out the week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Off of one, you know, bullshit yeah, meal. Yeah, 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 one bullshit meal. Like, Duh. nah. See, that's my problem, bro. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's the, it's the juice, it's the sweets and shit. Man, though. I already know. Y'all be on the same. Like <laughs> chips, bro. I'm still fighting chips. Duh. I can eat chips all day, bro. I hate that shit. Like man. especially hot chips. I gotta get away from hot chips. I'm gonna get a hole in my stomach. <laughs> no, that's for some sure. hot puffs. For sure, my wife be getting that extra, extra hot, flaming hot. Man, like, man, I'm, like, man. I'm not, no, I can't even do that shit, bro. Hell that's no. Your, your yeah, I gotta get more discipline when it comes to my working out shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Where you work at it? I, I, I got to. I got to. <laughs> 
I was going to um I ain't go I was going to LA out mm. there cause I stay on uh sell my um and Inkster. So I was going to LA Fitness over there. But then shit, man, I just fell off. No, I, 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 I fell did, off, bro. bro. Like, I, I, I ain't really get too into COVID. Like COVID really got me into working out. Like when I was when COVID, like I just was just yeah. I was just, I had nothing else to do. I was doing push ups, I was doing push ups every day, dips every day. I was just in the basement yeah. working out. My mom in the basement just working out then. I met a guy at this uh yeah, um, one of uh, I met this guy. What's that? It's over it's somewhere on McNichols and mm-hmm. Lasher, uh, Crowell, Cor- whatever it's called. Okay. And, uh, they was out there doing. Um, oh, Crowell. Crowell. Yeah, yeah, yeah they was yeah, out yeah. there doing um on dip on a uh, pull up bar and stuff. I ain't know how to do pull up stuff. I met a guy out there. I paid him like ten dollars a day to yeah. work out. That shit was getting expensive. Now I think about it. <laughs> no, for but, sure. But I he got he had me straight. Doing COVID, yeah, so yeah, dog. I, I still can't believe I'm still tripping about that. Your whole bike expedition, yeah, dog. Like, yeah, yeah, that joint, you was dedicated. I ride boy. past seven miles, some down, you just shaking my head. Like, <laughs> I hated yeah, that yeah, shit, yeah, dog. Yeah. It'd be day mornings, I miss my bus and all type of shit. It was dog, like, ain't no like missing the bus, especially the wrong. If you're on the wrong route, that bus take forever to come man. back. Now, the graduate bus, like, you can miss that motherfucker. It come back, it come like clock. Eight mile bus, bro. Damn, I was on that bus for a minute, bro. That eight mile bus used to piss me the hell <laughs> off, bro. The eight mile bus, dog, used to take foot. Ever, uh, bro. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like, bro, what's going on? Like it was never on track, but you know, yeah. there's no, uh, there's not enough drivers right now. For in sure. the morning, I always caught it though. Yeah. Damn, bro, I, I was taking that bitch for a minute. In yeah, the morning, that's, running that's, like that's dedication, bro. Yeah. That's dedication, like a motherfucker. Yeah. Now, dog, get back on music real quick. If I wanted to know who Spain the Bank was, and he could only play a song, what would that song be? Off the wall. Off the wall. Yeah. That's every. That's that's your that's your shit. Yeah. Off the wall. Yeah. Like if you really wonder who I am. That off the wall album is me. Mm-hmm. Smooth, <laughs> you know, jolly for sure. You know, calm. Yeah, like that off the wall album is me. No, for sure, that's lover, my shit. Lover boy, like yeah. all that. That that off, no, that off the wall. I think that was the quickest somebody answered the question, dog. Yeah, Cause yeah. usually everybody like, damn, I'm thinking shit. Yeah. Monsters, uh, monsters always say monsters is DMS slipping. Mm. Like that was my shit for me, dog. Like now I'm falling, mm. but I gotta get, get up. up. You know Back what I'm saying? To my like feet so I can tear yeah. shit up. Cause when you read this that song, it's a depression song. It is, but it's a motivation song too. It is. Yeah, cause he talking yeah. about when he was on drugs. Yeah. He talking about his parents. He talking about a lot of shit, bro. Like that shit. That's my shit right there, dog. Mm-hmm. Now, uh. Real, real, t- real, before we get to the podcast and shit, dog, you went to Central State, mm-hmm. HBCU, played football and stuff. Just talk about that experience. Like, and do you feel like right now HBCU is the talk of everything? Like, you right, got a lot right. of S athletes going back and coaching. Deion Sanders kind of like set, set that. Set that tone. Yeah, That's but before him, up. you had Doug Williams. He was a coach of, uh, what was it, at FAMU? Grambling. Grambling, Grambling Doug, yeah. Doug Williams went to my school. Where? He's in State? I think so. Yeah, because he played in the NFL. He coached, he coached at Grambling. Yeah. Yeah, he played for the Eagles, right? No, Redskins. Well, yeah, Jackson. the command. Oh, Hugh Jackson went to Central State. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you think right now that's like is important for for young black, you know, what I'm saying kids growing up to experience the HBCU or? Yeah. Um. Now, if you, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. If you a top athlete, take your ass to Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> just being honest, if you a top ass. Not, I mean, you gonna? I, ain't, I can't say the Jay Rice. He, you mm. know, he went to uh, HBCU. Walter yeah. Payton. You know. Yeah. But. <laughs> Program wise, like take your ass to Alabama. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Take, sure. you, take take they just gonna they just they just gonna make you more ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you a dog, no matter who you are, you know what I'm saying, go HBCU. But no, I think everybody should experience HBCU uh experience. Like mm. uh, that was one of the Oh my god. <laughs> it's real ghetto. But I love it. <laughs> sure. But it, it's the hood, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like the H stand for hood. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> For sure. it, well, it kind of was like I can't really say, you know what I'm saying. Like my my experience was, bro. If, if anybody that went to Central State, they'll tell you like my that our era was like the hood. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Well, the stuff that I saw, was shooting dice, yeah, um, shootouts. Like mm-hmm. I've been a lot of shit that I didn't even be in here. You yeah, know what I'm saying. Sure. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it was kind of <laughs> like that shit was hood to me. But um, it's also a great experience. You know, it makes you love being around your people more. Mm-hmm. You understand people of different cultures, like because everybody from different down south, up north. You know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You see. Who got the coldest women and Detroit be killing them? Yeah, no, for sure. Like, I'm, they, I'm they, to, like Detroit got the coldest women yeah, in the world. Bro. We top women, five. Though. We got in the top three, bro. Because <laughs> like when I was at Central State, I'm like, damn, these, these Detroit women cold. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, even up. That's when I really knew, like, damn, Detroit got some cold women. No, for sure. Like when I went we to do. a different state and you I start seen, seeing it, yeah, yeah you go like, to, yeah, you man. like, damn, Detroit women, they the top. Yeah, Detroit, yeah, Detroit got it. Like they crazy, a little they crazy, crazy, but yeah, they, man, they crazy, man. They, they they manipulative as hell. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But they they cold, and then like Chicago got some beautiful women too as well. Mm-hmm. But like, 
HBCU fun. It's like a big ass high school. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, the ones I went to, I don't know how Howard and Clark yeah. Atlanta and all them are. Like, yeah, you know, sure. I definitely played against Clark Atlanta. Like, man, I'll do it if I do it all over again, I'll go back to HBCU for sure. For sure. I'll take like my football more serious, though. I would have probably been more of a dog. Yeah. But you know, I didn't have the mentality that I have now. Then. Discipline, whatever, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Now, uh, what what um uh, what high school you had played for? Southfield Electric. Southfield Electric. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what position? Was you doing your thing? Tight, yeah, yeah. Tight end. I played tight end. Mm -hmm. Um, for my senior year, tight end. Mm -hmm. Um, before that, I was playing defense. I was playing tight end my junior and senior year, mm -hmm. and then my freshman JV year, I was playing uh tight both sides of the ball, tight end and um uh, defensive end. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, I scored my senior year. I scored twice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had about ten eight catches. Mm -hmm. That's low, but that's. We ran a, uh, yeah, but we ran the, it's the offense we ran, you know, yeah. it wasn't really. So you had more, you, yeah. more so used you as blocking. Yeah, 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 so, but I, I had hands, that's one thing niggas can say, like, if you guys, anybody from my high school, like, that was in and around my era, they'll tell you, like, bro, Dwayne, can, can, I had hands, like, yeah, I could catch sure. that bitch, yeah. Yeah, like, like, I ain't gonna, I got some great hands, like, that's one thing. Like my uncle, du my cousin Dewan told me how to catch. Yeah. My uncle David, he was a dog ass receiver at Persian, mm. and uh, like that's he, my dad used to always say like, man, your hands are amazing. Like, man, I, man, I, I was a really, really, I was a weapon. Like, if I went somewhere else, I, I, I know I'd be in the league. You ever talk about transferring? Like when you was hell there? yeah, I was supposed to go to Northwestern my senior year, but I, I just didn't go. You know, I, I told you I'm a lover boy, so I had a girlfriend sure. yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't want to leave her, so I just stood there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's but, always women, dog. Man, some dumbass. That's shit, what I say. Man. Women rule the world, boy. Man. They make you have you doing some shit like man, damn. So, um, <laughs> some dumb. I, I should have went to Northwestern. I would have got a lot of. I would have got a lot of looks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I would have. I would have. I would have made a name for myself. But right. then when I went to Central State. I pulled both my hamstrings. Yeah, damn. that's what kind of like fucked me up. But the coach was saying the same thing. Yeah. Oh, this nigga got hands like. And my coach was my receiver coach was play play for Virginia Tech's uh, Justin Harper. Okay, and he played for the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so to he hear, to get, I got approval from a guy that was at the top level. Yeah, so you could right there was new. I yeah. knew like you can't tell me. I knew my shit was yeah. already cold. But I, when I got it, when I got approval from him, like that motherfucker catch that motherfucker go get it. That's when I yeah. knew, like, yeah, I'm cold with yeah, them bitches. Yeah. So at the injury, like, was you like with that, that fuck fuck you up? Man, man? hell, like, I couldn't, I, I I couldn't go be a. I, had to, I was more of a blocking tight end, so yeah. I couldn't really uh, man, I couldn't really go for no passes and stuff like that. But and I'm thinking about a game. I had got some pussy before a game. <laughs> it was a homecoming. My dad and everybody came down. Man, <laughs> when I mean, he said, "Huh, nigga, we were supposed to go on today." What the fuck? That ain't even like. <laughs> Bro, my Duh. legs gone, bro. Yeah. Like, my legs was gone. Like, Man. oh my god, Duh. my shit was gone. Duh. Yeah, that was, that was fun though. That was real fun. For sure, for sure, man. Now, now we we've been chopping up talking like a motherfucker. We ain't got to the podcast oh, yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about like first of all, how you and Amad even meet. So uh, this is how Amad meet. So Amad got this page called the Central Plane. For sure, yeah. So I, I uh. I used, bro, that's why I said around 24, 25, that's when I really started taking shit serious, just learning about, like, black people and God and stuff like that. Mm. And um, he had a page that I always was breaking down, you know, that motivation, in in inspiring mm -hmm. stuff. So I was always watching. I used to be on there 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the night just watching it. Mm. Then one day this nigga said he was from, like, Flint, Michigan or something. Yeah. I seen that, and I just text him, like, Yo, hey, I'm starting a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to have you on as my first guest. Mm -hmm. So he did come down. We, okay. we shot it. We talked so he, about it. So yeah, a solo podcast at first, then? Yeah, okay. yeah. But I never did. I never, I mean, I never even dropped that interview. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, boy, like, man, I ain't going to, I got a lot of things I got to work on myself. But sure. um, I never dropped it. Okay. Like, because I ain't going to, I, I wanted my producer to do all that. See, I'm the type of person. I'm just here. I'm yeah, in front of the camera. I'm going to come sure. in and do my job. Yeah, I'm I, ain't, out. I ain't doing all that other yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. But I had to learn. I got to know everything. But I was just a person like, I'm a talent, bro. Yeah. This, I, I sit in front of here like, like y'all do the rest. For sure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all make it how y'all make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll let you know if it's good or not. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so that, that, that's what happened. And then, um, uh, and then, like I said, I ain't know how to put on YouTube, none of that stuff. So, um, so then, make the long story short, we we shot, we did an episode, we shot it, we never did it. Okay. So it was Savers Day back around 2020. Okay. And uh, he told me to come to Savers Day. I met him at Savers Day. We, you know, chopped it up, kicked it there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, one day at the end of 2020, he just called me like, hey, bro, I want to start this podcast, and mm -hmm. I would like you as my guest, my co-host. Yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. even in the middle of that, now, I think I used to call him mod a lot, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I used to chop it up with him, ask him questions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because this one I was searching, 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 you know, like... Islam and stuff like that, learning about that. Okay. And um and one day he just called me then 
we did it and yeah. we never looked back. Man, hell yeah, hell we yeah. Never looked back. That's when y'all was doing it, the the black and blue in the background. Man, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, hell yeah. yeah, we we did that and um, we never looked back. Like one thing I'm trying to learn, like with that with this podcast stuff, man, because mm. you what you know, like you gotta be real careful what you say. You know, sometimes you venting too much. Yeah, you know it, yeah. but also as me, I know it's entertainment. For so sure. like. I might give an answer in a way that's entertaining. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. That's like, why I say I told yeah. Ma this when he was on there. I, I feel like y'all are good together because yeah. y'all both y'all both talking about some deep shit, mm -hmm. but y'all expressing it in different ways. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he gonna be more like articulate, you gonna kinda come straight at you like yeah, nigga, yeah. fuck that or you know, yeah, that's I fucked to, up right now. Yeah, like it's just to be entertaining because yeah. nobody always wanna can't yeah. have two serious people. You yeah, know for what sure. I'm saying? For sure. So like I try to just be the ignorant ass nigga that's smart, cause bro, it'd be niggas that's yeah. ignorant as hell, but smart. Yeah, that's what I say. Cause it, hell, hell yeah, cause like you know? both y'all, y'all both y'all, y'all can tell y'all both of some intelligent young dudes. Yeah, but y'all just coming at two different directions. Yeah, yeah, you know, just to, I'm I'm looking out for the for the for the nigga ain't shit, but he is shit. You know <laughs> yeah, for saying? sure, hell yeah. Like he got common sense, but exactly. he is, man, I'm just just doing me, man. You know what I'm saying? So like. You know, just try to keep that balance, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes I don't, there's a lot of times, sometimes I'm, I don't want to be serious on there all the time. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, even now, like, I don't like the vulnerability no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I think? Like, I think I always used to get mad when I used to, like, like, damn, I used to call him, like, he'll tell you, man, I'm too vulnerable on there. Like, damn, I remember one time I just screamed and said, fuck, yeah. I'm too vulnerable on there. I asked him to delete that shit. He did. It's like happened like a month or two ago around okay. there. A month ago, around Spence fight. Damn, Spence. Oh, but, um, I ain't about to get beat down again. No, nah, I don't know, bro. I Crawford, my dog. Crawford tough. Yeah, he is. He is, but man. Man, I could have won so much money off that fight. Everybody I, I was talking to, Spence going to win. I'm like, man, I should have bet it. I knew, I knew Spence was going to I knew Spence was gonna lose after the night before. Like yeah. something just hit me, and I was just watching, really watching Crawford footwork, and the nigga, bro, he cold. Mm. But like, I feel like. If Spence just get back in the lab and really work on his technique, mm -hmm. it could be a way. I think different I don't fight. think it's gonna be. But they said Spence didn't spar for six weeks. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. Inside story. <laughs> that that plays a big part. Yeah, for sure. You know, I ain't making no excuse because my dog ain't make no excuse, but that plays a big part. Yeah. You could because he kept saying my timing was off. My timing was off. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I'm like. But we'll see. But yeah. I mean, they gonna fight again. I think it's probably gonna, gonna be, be stronger December. at one fifty four. Yeah, that's the scary thing. Yeah, and he's gonna get stronger as the more he it goes up. Like, damn, Bug gonna be stronger at one sixty eight. Yeah, I just I think it's gonna I think I think Bug gonna win again. But I just I think the next time they fight, I think it's gonna be closer. Yeah, I hope and I hope so. That's what yeah. people want. You know what I'm saying? But if Earl come in and, and, and do his thing yeah. and win, yeah. now nah, it's a conversation. Now, now you, the part three gonna get so much money. Man, now nah, it's a conversation. Yeah. Like. Shit. Yeah, dog. Yeah, shit. Man. Yeah, dog. So you said you you screamed and shit. You got mad. Yeah, I got mad and um, uh, it's asking delete that shit. Like I, I'm to the point. Like me and my boy Ray was talking. Uh, and shout out to my boy Ray. We were talking Sunday. Mm -hmm. He was like, bro, the world. He said it's the way new age of world. He said they got us messed up, trying us to be too vulnerable. You telling oh, us sure. to be more vulnerable and she like, bro. Man don't need to be doing that. And I was like, bro, I've been thinking that too. Like, bro, I ain't, I'm tired of being vulnerable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, niggas ain't got to, I don't like people seeing me at my weakness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know me, mm -hmm. you know, because if I see a weakness, I'm I'm kind of like going. Um, Jump on that, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. like I'm like a wiggle, but pray so, or But some, like sometimes that. though, you got to unleash that shit though. Because sometimes as men, we don't have nobody to talk to. Yeah, but I feel like that's for private conversations. You know what true, I'm saying? True, you know true. what I'm saying? Some shit like. I don't want you to have uh, the, the up on me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's my trigger. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? You, especially, especially women. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's how they use it. So, like, really, it's like, man, look, now I'm thinking, like, bro, a lot of that shit is probably is more private conversations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes, if it, if, if I'm going to be vulnerable, it, I got to deliver it in a way For sure. that, that it don't comes off as yeah. vulnerable. But, like, sometimes I watch that shit, I'm like, damn, yeah, I'm too man. vulnerable on that. I'm on that bitch crying. Like, some episodes, I'll be like, like, uh, one episode called Uncomfortable Conversation, talking about, you know, what's going on with me and my mom. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, man, I could have really kept that shit to myself. But it I mean, came but you, out. Probably, you probably need to release that yeah, shit, too, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did, I yeah. did, man. Like you said, I probably changed somebody's lives, you know. Exactly. But, you know, really, I just try to tell people, man, don't panic. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, everybody go through something. You know, everybody going through something. The first, especially, the first time is always terrifying. Mm -hmm. But the next time, it'll get better and better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the first time, you like, damn, when is shit going? You gonna go. You yeah, when's it going to get better, bro? Like, you don't know. You man. Know what I'm saying? But and after, you know it's going to change. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's just the point of not knowing when. When, yeah. And that's when you got to keep working. Like, I had a, I had a guy. Uh, he goes, he, you know, he was always in the gym with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
You know, he was just like, man, I saw him at at his, at his job. And I was like, man, what up, dog, man? I ain't seen you. Yeah. He said, man, I'm just going through a lot mentally. And I'm like, look, bro, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. nigga, I just went through a lot. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot I could just tell you, but I told him, don't stop. Because when you stop, that's the worst regret you're going to make. Hell yeah. Now you're going to have to start all back over, bro. You might as well just keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Like, I get it. You going through some shit. I get it. But, bro, keep pushing. Yeah. Like, what? I'm telling you, you're going to regret stopping. You're going to reward yourself and keep going. You know what I'm saying? So yep. you might as well just keep pushing. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Keep pushing. You know? sure. And uh, I ain't seen him since then. I saw him Sunday, I think. Yeah. It was Sunday. I saw him Sunday. I was like, bro, keep pushing. I told him, like, bro, I've been through a lot this yeah, year. Man. Man. And don't stop going, bro. Man. Don't stop going. Yeah, because there's been you know? some times, like, I'm like, dog, it, like, this summer, me and my wife are like, dog, this has been the worst summer for man. us. Like, nigga, financially, like, shit ain't going right, dog. But it's like, at the end of the day, we always be like, man, there's some people who can't even pay their bills, though. Man. Like, we ain't got the extra money that we want, you know what I'm saying, and enjoy shit, but mm -hmm. we able to have a place to lay down and go to sleep. Yeah, and that's that's the key, bro. Like, man. that's how I be looking. Like, right now, bro, I, man, right now in my life, I I could not have a place to lay my head right now. Mm -hmm. But, like, thank exactly. God that I do. You know what I'm saying? Because, yep. like, I did, I, I, my daughter did, because I did get kicked out my shit. I did get evicted. I just, I went through some shit. I couldn't even pay my rent. Yeah. But, you know, so, like... You know, I ain't nobody even know that for mm -hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I do have somewhere where I can lay my head. But you know, it's to the point like I would live out my car or yeah. live with somebody sleep on the floor and stuff till I had to get back right. But man, I just tell people, bro, keep going, bro. Damn. Don't, 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 don't fold, don't yeah. fall, man. Keep man. get your ass back up for because sure. tomorrow ain't promised. Nigga, at all. Man, I'm, I'm at starting, all. Every time somebody pass away, if I know you, if I don't know you, I just man, read it. Man. I'm like, dog, this shit. Like they say you got all the time in the world, but you really don't. Bro, listen, you hear the day going tomorrow. Man. I experienced that shit. My dad was here. Bro, I experienced that shit like twice in my life. Hmm. My dad called me that morning. We talked. Yeah. Then same thing with my mom. Yeah, six <laughs> hours later, he gone. Same shit with my mom, dog. Exact yeah. same shit. It's uh back when I was at Central State, it was a guy named Trey. I see him in the back of the car with my boy Juan car. I see him in the back of the car. I say what up to him. Yeah. I relate to Trey. I say phone call, he gone. <laughs> Man, like, bro, you here today going tomorrow yeah, for, for sure. Second, like, so, like, bro, I can beat you know what I'm saying? I can yeah. this motherfucking, but Duh. like, that's why I just, man, I tell, like, I tell people, you know, that's where anxiety and all that come from. Like, I know I got PTSD from from death. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I got that. It's, I experienced it too much. Around. Man, come on now, man. Like, I was, <laughs> man. People be feeling bad about for me. <laughs> I don't be trying to make people feel bad, but I, when I tell them, like, I'm like my son don't have grandparents. Like on yeah. his mom's side or my side. Damn, my like my yeah, my my daughter don't have no grandfather. Yeah, so it's like, bro, like that should be that should be tough, bro. Like nigga, that's why oh, yeah. I make, that's why I get upset with my older brother sometimes because I'm like, dog, we don't talk enough. Like mm. he say he stay in Texas, I'm in Detroit. Like bro, like I know you be busy, but it's nothing for a 15 minute phone call, real yeah, quick. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. We gotta be the ones to be a bigger person and reach out. Like I, I gotta call my mama today. Yeah, you know exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't go. I can't go another week without talking. Well, I saw her last week, but you know, I try to make sure I don't go a week without at least saying for sure. just five minutes. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes yeah, my, mama can, my mama can get my ass. Well, you doing this and you doing that. Uh, I ain't. I ain't call for all that shit. I just, call, I just call and say, hey, <laughs> how you doing? Hell yeah, I miss you. you. I love, love you. you. Yeah, you wanna take me? All right. Duh, I know. I cause, know. Dog, because my circle, I, I, I talked to this fool. This is mm. my uncle, dog. Okay. So it's my mom, little brother. My, my, my little brother. My uh, actually, my wife um stepdad. Mm. Those like in my circle. So if I'm here for them at like two, three days, like hold on, nigga, y'all niggas loud. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't, I, you ain't posting your story, nigga. Like, no, that's crazy. Like I, like I talk to my girl day. I talk to my trainer every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I talk to my boy Ike every day. Shout out to Ike getting married October, man. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I feel exactly where you yeah. coming from. Cause it's like I got those certain people who I, and my, my homeboy Lance, man, that's my uh, that's basically my cousin. Mm. Like those are like the people I talk to all the time. Mm. Like when I'm on the phone, nigga, my son, he like, oh, you talk to Q Lance, like he know who I'm talking to already, mm. dog. Cause you know what I'm saying. But like I said, my older brother, I'll be like, dog, we gotta talk more. Cause like shit, anything can happen. And then you are gonna be like, damn, I ain't talk to my little brother like that, or I ain't talk to my big brother. You know what I'm saying? So shit, nigga, fix those relationships like we talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix those yeah. relationships. Now back on the show, bro. I can't believe y'all niggas, like I said, I can't believe y'all, dog, this young, 24 yeah. and uh, you 20, 28. 28. Yeah. Like, nigga, I'm like, and I talk a, sh a lot of shit about podcasts being trash, but y'all the one podcast, one of the few, who I actually mess with because y'all come in and y'all come in at, at us different. Mm. Like, you got some podcasts and stuff, it's just like, all right, they gonna do the whole, the clout shit, the popular yeah, but, shit. Which I be wanting to do sometimes, I ain't gonna lie to you. But sometimes be, it's just a little, little too much, though. Sometimes. Yeah, 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 it does, it is, but, but that's that's what they like. <laughs> that's what the that's what the audience like. It, you, it's more of that audience. But 
You know, you just gotta. Y'all be having some deep ass conversation though. We do though. That's needed. We definitely need. Niggas it, ain't really talking like yeah, that. Yeah, we really breaking the machine. Like yeah. we really, we really be, do be breaking. Like we do be really breaking the machine. Like sometimes I be like, God damn, be like we be zoned in. Mm-hmm. But it's so. But me and him. But now the more I think about it, our relationship was already like that before the cameras. Yeah. Really? So like that's why it comes so natural. Like our conversation, even off the, bro, we have deeper conversations off of the camera. Some say I wish, I'm like fuck, I wish we. Were yeah, for sure. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like our conversation, like we was already like the author camera. I just think, uh, like sometimes, I'd be like why, why I'm this deep? But then I thought about. It. I remember in college, like I was just listening to Pac all the time, Martin yeah. King. Like I used to always listen to deep type of people, like, mm-hmm. especially Pac. Like really, Pac is like really one of my biggest influences. Mm-hmm. Like he influenced me to talk the way I talk or think the way I think at times. Or yeah, for sure. And he was young re- as fuck. Yeah, young as fuck. Be a rebel. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where, like really where I got it from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and then I grew up in a church that that didn't sugarcoat nothing. Mm-hmm. And the morning, like my parents and them didn't sugarcoat nothing. So like it always like I always come off like that. Like it'd be harder now. Like because the more I know. The more you do want to say like facts, but you, it's not it's not meant. You yeah, know, to no, always. for sure. Now, I always big up my show, but I, I do, and I feel like you know, shit, I'm the king. But <laughs> but I feel like y'all show could easily get picked up, like man, easy. bro. Like I be looking at the Black Effect numbers, dog. Bro, they numbers are like the people that's on that shit. Mm-hmm. They numbers is low. Yeah. I be like, bro, who listen to that shit? <laughs> for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, de- I ain't gonna lie, we definitely get picked up. Um, yeah. I just feel like we just continue, continue to get that exposure. I think the one way you could do it, I, to me, is just, just make it being getting bigger in the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, your city makes who you are. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Just For getting sure. bigger in the city. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, mean, I ain't got to say we got everybody, have everybody from the city on, but just doing things in the city, doing mm-hmm. events, which is coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing events in the city. Just... It's being outside. Yeah, and I love y'all setup too now. The new setup is, is dope. Yeah, that shit cold. You know dog. what I'm saying? That, that shit cold. New my, man, mine pretty much like, you know... I gave him, we both came with a vision, mm-hmm. and uh, he just been looking, like, he was looking while I was on the bus, damn, that's crazy, that's how long we've been looking, Man. but like, I ain't, I ain't have time to really go, go yeah. look for, uh, you Hell know what no, I'm saying? no, ride bikes to work, right, I'm riding bikes to work and <laughs> shit, dog, I, I, I ain't have time, sure. like, so, like, I appreciate him just being patient with me, and, no, and I fair. told him, like, bro, hey, whatever you pick, I'm gonna ride with it, if I don't like it, I don't like it, you know what I'm saying, but when he showed me, I'm like, bet it, I'm yeah. like, yeah, that no, was it's it, dope. It's dope. that was it, but then I think about it, like, I, I wasn't able to... To find a spot or be around, like man, cause my car, man, my damn, bro, I was, damn. <laughs> no, for sure, bro, I know I'm just not really getting back riding. Yeah, knock on wood, I know how it without that car, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lose my shit ever. Me again, neither, bro. <laughs> me neither, dog. Now, yeah. um, cause I was gonna hit you one one time in the message and be like, dog, what happened to the show? Cause this is what I thought was gonna happen. I thought when Amaya moved to Atlanta, mm-hmm. I thought that y'all was still gonna be breaking the machine, but y'all was gonna, you gonna do your end. Individual yeah, interviews yeah. and he was gonna do his individual interviews with people in Atlanta, which we could have did. You know what I'm saying? But because uh, you had the one shit with I my had, man uh, Leek Hustle, posted, on the, yeah, that was a good one. And then you did had Leek the, come on here, didn't he? Uh, no, 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 no. We supposed to, but something happened. Then, and then uh, you, Cordy Bell and on, on the porch that yeah, was dope as hell. Like yeah, some yeah. shit. That's, yeah. that's that's yeah. That was I, I could have kept that going. That's on me though. Like mm-hmm. you feel me? Like that I really should have kept that going. Mm-hmm. And the more I think about it, but um, I was still a new dad. Yeah, so everything uh, was still here. Yeah. Man, I can't even make no excuse for yeah. that. I just, just didn't. I mean, I shit, life be hit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So, all yeah. that time, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Like, I could have kept it going, but uh, yeah, that was on me. Like I could have kept that going. I'm glad, you know, it didn't. I'm glad we we back. Yeah, God, I was gonna hit you, like, bro. What's up with the, what happened to the show? Man, I'm glad we back because uh, that that would suck if we just stopped like yeah, that. Yeah. But you know, we back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we only gonna get better. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just happy to be back, now. man. How y'all go about picking guests? Um. Whoever can talk, like, okay. you'll, be good, you'll be a good guest, actually. Yeah. Um, Shit, man, I'm always open, though. You yeah, know we gotta get you on. You got us both on, so we gotta get you on. Yeah. Um, pretty much, who has like a platform? Mm-hmm. Who can talk? Um, who's doing stuff in the community? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, really somebody who can talk. You know, somebody who can have hold a great conversation. And you can, that can, we can bring out those, 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 those clips. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. No, yeah, that's so. what's all about the clips. Cause I, I had certain people I'm like, yo, I can't break not no clips. <laughs> Man, <laughs> like man. fuck, bro. Man. Now, have y'all ever had without naming names? Of course, I don't want you to name no names. Uh-huh. But have y'all ever had those interviews and y'all y'all talk like, damn? It... Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. I think we all. I mean, bro, it was one interview, dog. I didn't even know the know the know the person, and I'm like, bro, I ain't got shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. I do got to do better in my journalism. Sometimes I don't. I there's a lot of episodes that I 
that I don't research some mm -hmm. people, but some people I do. It's like, man, I remember we had Justin uh, Floyd on there. Mm -hmm. I did my research on him. I swear to God, I did. <laughs> man, me and Ma was arguing the whole way. <laughs> Dog, we was in Atlanta. We just arguing about it. I'm just like, bro, I got it, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell him my like, bro, I've been doing this for years. Yeah. Like, I went to school for communication. So, for like, sure. the way I do it is different. Like, I'm not, sometimes I'm not as detailed as, mm -hmm. as he is, but exactly. I, I look at it, read it. All right, it's all here. The rest, I'm just going to freestyle. Mm -hmm. I, I had to host shows. And when I was at Central State, I used to host shows for like, 500 people mm -hmm. in, a, in an auditorium. I used to rock that. Yeah. I did this shit on video. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Man, I, I like that. Oh my god, I used to rock that bitch. I was like, I, ain't, I was an okay host, like man. But man, man, I used to rock that bitch out. Yeah. But um, long story short is, uh, we arguing shit. Then we mm -hmm. do the episode. Man, that shit dry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but people in the comments like, bro, what the fuck y'all do this shit? <laughs> I'm just like, damn, bro. And I'm like, in my mind, like I told you, I had it, bro. Yeah, like yeah. if you would have let me get my groove on, yeah, yeah. I would have brought that brought dog out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. I'm like he was he was a thinker to me. I'm like, bro, I had it, but like, I'm like, man, you ain't you ain't like this no. episode when I when people was like wasn't as big, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I ain't had nothing for like, when, man, I ain't had nothing for Brandon T. Jackson. More yeah. I think about it, when he came on, like I, man, I do gotta do better. Like Royce the Five Nine, I ain't really had nothing for that one either. Like yeah. it's a lot of episodes. I'm like, dog, I didn't really do my homework. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. Now nah, I try, you know, now nah, I do more of my homework. But y'all got that two man game, so. He can yeah. come with the little research. You, you, I, I, I'm just, I just want the conversation. Yeah, you can wanna, freestyle. I just, yeah, I, just wanna, I just want to talk, bro. Like, yeah. let me get to know you something. You know what I'm saying? That's like I just ask you, like, who your favorite rapper? Shit. Like, yeah. bro, I, I just want to have a conversation. I know how to have a conversation for sure. But then I got those icebreaker questions. Like, yeah, you know that's what, what I need to do. Maybe I was like, all right, when last time you cried and it had mm. nothing to do with death? Mm. You. Mm. Shh. <laughs> bro, I don't, bro, I ain't cried, bro. I ain't so bro, I ain't cried in a while. Yeah, for real. Like, mm. I be wanting to, like, yeah. bro, I ain't cry, like, like, I be wanting to break down, but, bro, yeah, dude, like, she won't allow you to, it's won't allow me to, yeah. I, I been through some shit, bro, and I just, like, I be looking, I'm about to cry, yeah. and like, that shit just won't like, come Like, man, hell, man, them niggas, like, no, I ain't be like that, it's yeah. be like, it ain't hurt, it ain't no, hurt, as I, I sure. started with, like, I haven't cried, but I ain't cried, my daddy died, bro, Yeah, oh, I still haven't cried over that, like, yeah. it hit me, like, damn, like, yeah. like, right now, I'm just thinking of seeing his body in that cast, like, damn, I can't call that man no more, like, that's yeah. just weak, but, it's also like it's kind of like I'm kind of numb to it. Like I kind of like I ain't gonna say it, I didn't expect it, but mm -hmm. I understand. Like damn, it's mm -hmm. health. Yeah, man, if you ain't healthy, man, shit like that happens. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, it, looking at that, that's why you and your your health tip like how yeah, you are now. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm in the gym how I am right yeah. now. Like my thing, the diet gonna come, not the diet, but the the full lifestyle gonna come because it's, like, it's really a lifestyle. It can't a diet ain't shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You really just got to make it whatever you want to do a lifestyle. Yeah. But, you know, lifestyle, kind of like I said, my goal, man, get to 90. I ain't, I ain't trying to be here. I ain't trying to leave at no 50. Man, hell and no. And like I said, I, shit, like I'm thinking about people that like DMX, he probably was running from something mentally. Yeah. That's what probably got him out of here. Exactly. You know yeah, cause my mom, she was 51, my dad was 46. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, damn, like. That shit hurt. I'm thinking think 46, it. nigga, that's, that's, that's nah, coming nah, quick nah, for me. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, damn. Like, uh, my mom, she just reached that milestone hitting 50 man, like, bro, the next like, year. My dad was 58, and it's like, damn, 58, young as hell. Like, yeah. he had so much left to do. You for know? sure, for sure. Cause I'm looking at my, we just at my wife, uh, my grandmother in law crib, nigga. She be 76 on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's like, nigga, like, hey, shit, 76, you still got some, some more living to do, bro. You like, do, you it ain't do, over. You it. do, it ain't over. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't over at all. Yeah, man. yeah. What's your, uh, what's your podcast wish list as far as guests? Uh, Jay Z. Mm hmm. Um, uh, Meek Mill, payroll. Mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to get payroll for fucking man, three years. Man, me too. <laughs> same here, bro. <laughs> same here. And he be wanting to talk, but uh, yeah. same here. Uh, so, Jay-Z, Meek Mill, uh, Kyrie, mm -hmm. payroll, Kyrie. Kyrie um, definitely a deep, deep ass <laughs> yeah, yeah, combo. Yeah, yeah. Right, hell yeah. Kyrie, uh, Kanye, mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I'll take Kim. That would be a good one. Yeah. Um... Beyonce, mm -hmm. um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, mm, man, we used to have LL Cool J. I like to have LL on. Um, yeah, yeah, Snoop yeah. Dogg. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? That's nine. I'm thinking one more in there. Um, oh, Andrew Tate. 
Okay. Okay. And, and Candace Owens. Yeah. I like that one too long. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with Candace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I fuck with Candace Owens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it, I can't say it on camera, but I yeah. fuck with her. <laughs> Was there a guest that you had built a friendship with from since you already did the uh, Breaking Machine? Uh, Brandy T. Okay. Jan, like, I kicked him after that day. Mm -hmm. Courtney Bell. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, we definitely, yeah, them two for sure. Like, them, them numbers I got locked in my phone. Was there a guest that surprised you? Like damn, I didn't know this, this. I didn't know you was gonna be like this cool, or the conversation was gonna go this way. Nah, I can't think of it on the top of my head. Mm -hmm. That mean they won that. <laughs> no, early Mac, early Mac was cool. Okay, 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 I mean, okay. Was, yeah, early Mac was cool as hell. Hell yeah. yeah! I think this was on the podcast, or you guys said, uh, 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 don't you don't eat women's spaghetti. Yeah, I made a skit about her. I made it. I did yeah, yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was, dog. That, that was a joke. But no, growing up, I was like, heard, yeah, parents say, hey, don't eat that spaghetti. Man, that was a joke. But I made a whole movie, like a whole skit about that, like a whole like short film. Yeah, eating, eating, me eating girl like a girl that liked me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was kept playing her off. Then she made some spaghetti. Mm -hmm. She put some you know blood in. I ate it and I fell in love with her. Started doing all this goofy shit. Like I've I, I, I been, I've been entertaining. Do you believe in that time. shit though in real life? Nah. You so you don't believe like uh, them old school like niggas saying like. That shit true man. or like voodoo shit in the in the, nah, in the south? No, nah, she just probably sucked the shit out your dick. <laughs> that's that's what's gonna keep you there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you doing all type of dumb man, shit? Man, thank you doing all type of dumb Boy, shit. Boy, ain't nothing like some, yeah, never mind. That's how a lot of women, some women marry. You know, she suck a mean dick. Man, yeah. ain't about to let that shit go. <laughs> that's how I believe. It's the sex. You know, he she put it down on him. Yeah, yeah. And he just like, oh, man, let <laughs> that hooked. shit. I'm hooked. Yeah, now she doing all type of crazy all shit. To, yeah, I mean. I don't, uh, I mean, voodoo, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, nah. now, now, do y'all look at other shows as competition or y'all just focus on y'all? I'm not. I'm a competitor. You can be me too, dog. Like, it could be friendly competition. Yeah. Like, I can show y'all love some, and still yeah, compete. Yeah, compete. But, like, some people, like, you genuinely, like, like your show, I'm genuinely, like, rooting for you. So, it's mm -hmm. not, like, looking at competition. Relationships are more important than money. No, for sure. Every rich person will tell you that. Yeah. And that's it's why all about the relationship. And that's why with me, I like... Of course, I like having big names. I mm -hmm. love having big names, but I also like having somebody on the come up who got a story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you like, oh, I remember I had dog on the show when he, you know what I'm saying? You I never know. You yeah. might have somebody on here that's on the come up. You was first interview, then you look up. He got, you know what I'm saying? He a big superstar. People sure. gonna go back to this, to that, you know, yeah, to the one he, sure. he did with him. Like, bro, you can't. It, it would be a lot of people on the come up that do reach out to me and be like, damn. But I'm, ha I am gonna have to branch off mm -hmm. and probably do something under that because. Yeah. Man, it, it is a lot of people that be reaching out to me. Yeah, it, it be like, sure. damn, dog. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a lot of people, too. I'd be, hey, I, 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 I got hold on. People don't be understanding. So yeah. I had people unfollow me just because I didn't get back to them quick enough to get them on the show. Yeah. I'm like, man. I ain't never had that one, though. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> I, I, like, I damn, know. nigga, block me or anything. <laughs> like, no, I, man, I done try to have people on there. Like, we got a lady that's going to come up there. That's going to come up on there. She's going to talk about, like, sex and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait till she really come on. Yeah, that's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to be, like, something. Ooh, yeah. I, I got a lot of talk with her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before we get out here, man, last thing I want to talk about, dog, is uh, September fourth. You got a movie, uh, in the A for uh, one night. Yup. Damn, you doing your research? <laughs> yeah, we did it in the A one night. You know what I'm saying? My dog, cute. I shout out earlier. Yeah. You know, I'm a boy, homeboy from uh, Chicago. My boy D, Global State Project. Mm. Man, D and them, bro, they do so much good work. Uh, D and Juan, but they they shot the movie. You know what I'm saying? It's a short film. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a movie. It's a movie. I don't want to say a short film. It's a movie. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, he called me. He said, you know, he got a movie. He liked the idea. I mean, he had a movie. He thought of me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I went down there and did it. You know, we shot it uh, back in July. Mm -hmm. Like, July 14th. So, uh, then that comes out Monday. Yeah. So, yeah. cute birthday. Cute birthday on Monday. I think come on his birthday. So, um, yeah, man. One day in the A. Like, remember, we've been doing work for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. We start out in college with our web series called Real Campus Life. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's still on YouTube now. You can always go check that out. Okay. Man, some old work, like. Damn, I got a resume. Hell <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I, I really, I really want to get back into the acting bag, man. Like, especially Detroit right now. They taking over in the Tubi world. And I ain't, I'm, I'm only in four movies. I was in the beginning way, but I ain't been in shit. Yeah. Since then. So you just, about to start getting back on, that, on your yeah, acting Yeah, like, really. I, my, my, the last movie premiere I went to for my own movie was uh the week before my dad died. That was May 1st. And mm. uh, my dad died that, that same week. Mm. And, um, uh, I had to also remember, I just had a baby last year. Yeah, hell yeah. last year, but... Like I'm, I feel like I'm missing shit. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Like, yeah. like I, ain't, I y'all can hear me. I know. Sometimes, oh yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, sometimes sure. you be like, damn, they too far from the mic. <laughs> yeah, no. But um, you know, like, 
I got realized like it's only been a year, but man, it's, it's so much that can happen in a year. Yeah, hell you know yeah. What I'm saying? I, I just feel like I'm missing out. Like damn, but I gotta get back in the movie shit. So, you know, I just transitioned to another job. So hopefully, um, man, I've been chasing money, bro. I'm yeah. just trying to you know get a crib, get another truck, you know, get trust and credit, everything together. Like I've been really on that mm -hmm. in the last year or two. So, um. But I definitely just want to get back in that in that movie field, the acting field. You know, yeah. take acting classes, sharpen myself up. For sure. You know, I try to get in the Moolah films, but every time I try to get in, I'm either I'm too late or it's full. Yeah. So I just need I just need to squeeze myself in there, y'all, because <laughs> yeah. I know I know like once I'm on them cameras, bro, it's over with. Like yeah. I'm a star. For like sure. I, like that's just something I can't run. I've been trying to run away from a long time. But you can't. But I can't. Like I don't know what people see in me, but like when. My mentor said I got that Denzel and Will Smith effect. I was like, whoa. Yeah. That's a big a compliment, you know, a compliment to have. Like hey, I ain't like what you had said though. Then what? Did some research, dog. What what I say? He said that uh Jamie Foxx was better at He the, is, he is. <laughs> the Denzel, dog. He is. <laughs> he is. He's more versatile. Like I look at it like what can you do? Look at his range yeah. of movies. Like, don't give him Denzel Crow, but can can Denzel could have did could Denzel had did they clone they clone Tyrone? No. Could Denzel can Denzel did Dream Girls? No. Can Can Denzel do Django? <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Can Denzel I, do Any Given Sunday? <laughs> can Denzel do the role of Ali, bro? Like it's like his range is fucking <laughs> crazy, bro. It's crazy. I'm just going by Damn. range. Like Denzel, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, I'm starting. Denzel not overrated, but he kind of oh, no, is. No, 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 no
Um, I think Ali could have been a little bit better. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. It could have yeah, went a little yeah, bit yeah. farther than it. Any any given Sunday is I- iconic. That's my shit though. Yeah, any, I love yeah, it. Yeah, any given Sunday is iconic. Uh, Collateral that ain't iconic. Mm. Uh, but that I mean, bro, Jamie was. Yeah. Also, well, serious shit. tip that. Oh uh, yeah, I see you talking about with, with Denzel. I mean, cause like, I, I, it's Jamie, and then Will. You gotta also put Will up there too. Like Will, Will, one of them. Like Denzel, his own category. Denzel is the better black serious actor. Mm-hmm. Like drama. But you like, look at as far as ranges. Like, yes, way, range. Yeah, range yeah. makes you better. Like I don't, I don't, I don't care how iconic the movie. I mean, damn, he do got deja vu. But all of yeah. them, them are Denzel fit movies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I think Jamie definitely could have played. Book All right, about, it's kind of like Jada Kiss then. Yeah, Jada Kiss is a great rapper, but he yes. stay in his lane. Stay in his lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly how <laughs> it is. It's like Denzel <laughs> stays in his lane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but and Will, I think that's the Samuel. reason why to me Nas is the better lyricist, but the reason why Jay Z is is uh, is considered a better rapper is because he just do more. Like you know, Nas can cut give you bars. It wasn't until recently with Hit Boys that he had started like. Yeah, I, well, since 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 he been dropping with Hit Boy, I'm kind of putting him over yeah. Hove until Hove drop another album. <laughs> yeah. Because King Disease Two is oh my fucking yeah, god, no hard. skips. Yeah, that shit, sure. that shit like. Yeah. And it's so under the radar. Yeah. Bro, I'm Damn, banging so that album. Denzel is like the Jake is like the rap Denzel, man. Yeah. Like Jake, cause Jake has dropped hard album, but you know what you are gonna get from Jake is. Yeah. And you same know. type of pattern, same type of. Flow, same type of song, but he hard. It's like, come on, Denzel, you gonna do Equalizer three times? <laughs> I still ain't seen a second one. See, you know what I'm saying? That's like three times the Equalizer. Like, come on, Denzel, Duh. give us like we need something else, man. Like, come on, like and nobody Duh. ain't gonna say it because it's Denzel, but yeah, like, bro, we right. need we need something else. I like, I, I ain't mad your take no more like that. Yeah, can make you think now. Yeah, it yeah. really like like Samuel Jackson. Like, bro, yeah. damn, Samuel yeah. Jackson. Samuel was is that nigga? He been in everything. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And like, Will, Will is like. My I top, think, my top five actors are, you know, they're not in order, but it's definitely Denzel, Samuel, Will Smith, Jamie Fox. These are my black actors. Mm-hmm. Jamie Fox and uh, Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Eddie, a lot of people don't get Eddie Murphy his credit. Yeah, I, 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 you gotta put Eddie Murphy in there. Yeah, yeah, but Leo over all of them. Yeah, Leo DiCaprio, bro, that nigga is cold. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I never really like put like a, a top list as far as my actors. Oh, I like, uh, I don't know. I like, yeah. I like Idris Elba though. Uh. <laughs> But he ain't no top, but I like yeah. I, He did good in The Wire. I mean, yeah. he played a good movie. Uh, he all right. All right, all right, the, all right. When you look at The Wire, when you look at Power, I'm quite sure you watched Snowfall, didn't you? Yeah, I did. How how would you rank those three? Um, season one through three, I'm putting Power as number one. Okay. The first three seasons was they just... Started, yeah, because after season three, it's like... It, was, it dropped, but yeah. like, that third season was so fucking yeah. amazing yeah, 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 for sure. that it made... Huh, it was the third go- season when he had my man on his head? Yeah, uh, Mulan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gabo. <laughs> that thing Mulan was scary. When he yeah. killed Lobos. <laughs> yeah. And when he killed Lobos and came back, and he, you know, he thinking he telling Mulan, like, I'm telling him, whatever, yeah, Dean. Need, Dean yeah, was his name at the time. Like, I don't need you no more. I don't need no more. He said, oh, you killed Lobos. I said, what the fuck you think? <laughs> Hell yeah. I said, damn. But yeah. then, then the wire, then Snowfall. Um, I couldn't, Snowfall was good. I just couldn't really get into it as much. Oh, um, man. I watched it, but yeah. it was just last, like I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I cried in the last episode. You did? He didn't see it, so we can't really talk about it too much. Oh damn, you ain't seen it. He ain't seen season one. Oh my god. <laughs> so so you feel how I feel? Like it's good, but it's like no, it's yeah. I love that shit. I, I feel like um, I don't know. It kind of like uh, yeah. to me, like it ain't yeah. power was. I ain't watched the wire until late. Damn, me too. Well, I was young, so yeah, I, I, yeah, caught, yeah. I ain't understand it. But like as I got older, yeah. like now, even now, I still be like, like my girl, she watching it, yeah. and I'm like, damn, I tell her about certain things. But yeah, white heart, yeah, white heart. Like yeah. I'm, a, I'm gonna put the wire second, just because I didn't fully understand yeah. it. Yeah, now and, the power, you right though. Those but, first three seasons, man, those first three seasons, yeah. dog. That's true. That's man, true. I and, and to be honest, like that, like my dad used to love power, but mm-hmm. me, and my me, and my dad was pissed. I understand why my dad was mad about how Ghost died. You know, mm-hmm. having your own son because he had a son. Yeah. And I, at the time, me and my dad would bump heads. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah, I yeah. understand why he was upset about like Tyreek killing his dad. He's like, man, you don't do that. I remember him mm-hmm. just be talking to me about that. Like, man, yeah. that that's wrong. You don't do yeah, that. Yeah, for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? That's giving young men idea that they can kill their father. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they can't. And you see now, the little nigga don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, for honest, sure. This yeah, dumbass yeah. nigga talking about. My mom is the uh, it was the it was the brains of the family. Yeah, no, it's dude. like bro, my, you don't your mom held, it, held held him back because he was trying to be on the corporate side, but she wanted him man. to stay in that street shit. 
Really, his mama fucked up the whole yeah, shit. Yeah, his mama yeah. is the reason why the whole empire fell. For you know sure. what I'm saying? He, but he he don't get that. You a mama's boy, but like, yeah. but your daddy hold that shit. Cause she would have been a type of woman to encourage like that, and that's what a lot of women. Uh, Man, they don't. <laughs> if, and, they, if she would encourage him, like, all right, let's go to his corporate side. Yeah, he would have been out that shit. Would have been out of it. You know, what I'm saying? been out of it. But she and she, Tommy, you got homies that want to keep you in yeah, certain. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I'm saying that's, that's when I start realizing like certain homies only cool with you. For one reason. reason, yeah, I mean, and then when you try to make that switch, they like they ain't used to that shit, so they trying yeah, to, yeah. so he got held back from his homie and his girl. Yeah, Tommy for sure holding back. Tommy holding back for a minute. I mean, I ain't gonna. Season four was good too. It was really, it was really at the answer to death. Like mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know what the writers was on. Like season five was. You had Kane and being a homie and shit. Like, yeah, that was kind of <laughs> like what's going on here. Like, yeah. wasn't playing a good role too because the niggas started really disliking his uh, ass. Drake, Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I ain't gonna Drake. lie. I, I don't know how I start hating Drake because at first I was like, <laughs> I fuck with Drake. Like, like I said, season three it was cold. You know, Fifty came in digging the baby outside. Yeah. I'm like, bro, season three was cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and then I want, but I think I wanted Dre to be the one to kill Kane. Yeah, I think, like, yeah, like, that you would have been like, You would have my daughter. And yeah, like, yeah, that would have been better. Like I said, the writer. Uh, and then how he died and he got burnt up by his homies in yeah, jail. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. Nah, 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 that was a good way to go out, though, for him. Nah. I did like that, but I didn't like how he killed Donovan. That was bogus. Yeah, I'm like, fucked up. That didn't show how much, like, damn, Drake really was a snake ass yeah. nigga, dog. <laughs> he really was a snake ass <laughs> nigga, but he, no. he couldn't do shit with, with Ghost, though. Yeah, for sure. But, and I remember reading at one point, Ghost was supposed to die in season three. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of people don't know. And Dre was supposed to be the new big homie. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's like, that's when they was writing it. That's how it was supposed to go. But, yeah, uh, yeah, you had to keep it that nigga. Yeah, there, man. Right. James St. Patrick, dog. Yeah, then that's, you got those, and then see with him, it's fucked up because you got those roles that you always gonna be stuck in. No matter what he do now, nah. we always gonna look at that nigga I, as And that's goes. crazy, yeah, I, yeah. That's like my man from Snowfall. I wonder how he gonna convert over to I think, I think he already did, kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw him in another movie. I didn't like see Franklin. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like even when I see James St. Patrick, well, Omar, <laughs> Omar, what's his name? Omar um, Hardwick. Yeah. Like, I, I see him, I see him, I don't always see him as ghosts, but then you be like, damn, I wish he was. Like, he played that fantasy football. He actually did good in that movie. Mm-hmm. That fantasy football with, uh, with, uh, with the, the young little girl that's a writer yeah. and... I forgot her name, but uh, I think Kelly Rowland was in it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah. she fine as hell, too. <laughs> I know she married. But, no, um, sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but he, he did good in that. I'm like, yeah. you know, that was very, you know, different from him. But, yeah, man. Yeah, that's he, funny he, as hell. Urkel was tight cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas like him. Yeah, Jalil White, that's, like, that's funny. He stuck in that motherfucking road, though. Really, Will Smith is tight cast. Think about it. His name. Yeah, Fresh Prince. You Fresh Prince. Yeah. Martin is tight cast. You know what I'm saying? The name. Not yeah. you know, not the person, but the yeah, name. Yeah, because he played Martin in the front yeah, of the show. So, and shit. Yeah, yeah, so his name is just Tyke and and uh and uh Carlton is I got a question before we go. The Rush Hour series mm-hmm. or Bad Boy series? Damn. I didn't see Rush I didn't see Bad Boys three. Mm. But if you go to the first two, I'm gonna go with Bad Boys. Yeah, me too. Because the Rush Hour three is kinda ass. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody saying Bad Boys Three was kinda trash. I ain't watched it yet. So, but I, I'm still taking Bad Boys One and Two over Rush Hour One and Two, yeah. and Rush Hour One was a banger. Yeah, so uh, uh, damn. But Bad Boys, the first Bad Boy yeah. was a, man. That, I like Bad oh. Boys Two better. Yeah, it was more action. It's more yeah. action packed. Yeah. Michael, Michael Michael Bay actually did a good movie on yeah, that. Yeah, that's your that's your crazy as hell, dog. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit you been through? Some shit that you don't believe in as a young, 19, 20 year old spank mm, that you look back on like a good dog, question. I was tripping back then. Yeah, um, some shit that you believe in then that you don't believe in now. Man, uh, I don't even know. Damn, that's a good question. I have to really think. What the heck I was thinking at nineteen? <laughs> what the heck I was thinking at nineteen? <laughs> Damn, that's a good question. Um, it could be it could be women related. It could be life related. Oh man, I don't, don't want to say that. That's just because <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, man, man, <laughs> man. <laughs> Damn, cause you had me. I, I, oh my god. Um, that cut. <laughs> Scratch that part. Man, 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 man. I'm trying to think. Uh, what did? <laughs> okay, I'm just okay. I used to think that like eating a girl pussy made my made me uh. <laughs> <laughs> man, you had facial hair. Yeah. But for a long time, I did like that's how I got, you know. Yeah, hair, right? But now as I go, I don't think that was true. I know my example because I'm yeah. like a young 18 year old nigga. Man, you want your pussy shot? No, I'm not. Yeah. Nah. Whatever. Yeah, I think that, that's a good question. That's a great question. I don't, that, that's the only one I could think of. Like, I used to think, like, yeah, if you eat pussy, you know, yeah. you get you get beer, you know, hell you get yeah. facial hair. That's crazy. I, duh, I believe that's that. That's funny as hell, dog. I, used to, I can't believe that. Now, then we do this thing called What's Worse. Okay. What's worse, failing at something 
or not starting? <laughs> uh, not starting. All right. What's worse, find out your kids ain't yours or find out you adopted? Find out my kids ain't mine. All right. What's worse, find your mate, find out your mate cheated through text or in action? <laughs> in action. <laughs> All right. What's what's worse, losing your chick to your homeboy or to your ex? To my homeboy. Yeah, because that, <laughs> that ex will be crazy, dog. <laughs> what's worse, not having no money for Christmas or not having no money on your kid's birthday? Not having no money on my kid's birthday. All right, what's worse, dog? Kissing your girl in her breath stink or eating her box in her pussy stink? Eating her box in her pussy stink. <laughs> I, I kiss her in the morning all the time, man. <laughs> Shit. But kissing that box in this thing, ooh. It's a nasty tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what's worse dog what do you think worse dying by uh stab or dying by a shot uh stab all right what's worse a chick with bad feet or bad teeth feet now, i kind of know what you you already said this one I'm, this is one of the questions dog. i said no car nice crib nice car no crib hold on what no car nice crib or nice crib no car that might be nice crib because yeah she, I, I I can get around. Yeah, yeah, for sure you get around, dog. Yeah, I can get around, but I definitely like that nice car. Yeah, nice car, no crib though. But it's like, damn. All right, what's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? You said being a tall nigga with short arms and a tall nigga with short legs. No, no, uh, being a tall nigga with short, short arms, arms or being a short nigga with tall legs. So it's part little as fuck, but your legs long as hell. I guess I take the legs. I take the legs. I hate to be tall with short arms. I am tall. I would hate that. Now hooping. What this last one? What's worse, being crossed over and you fall, or being dunked on? Man, being, being crossed over and you fall. Yeah, because you can, I can get away with get dunked. I'm only yeah. five nine. Yeah, yeah, I can get away. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Man, you know that one question made me thinking, bro. What's up? You watch the best man, right? So we need to talk about this before we go. What's up? What's My up? bad. I keep running. I probably running y'all along. No, you good. Morris Chestnut was wrong for marrying her. You supposed to leave that bitch alone. You fucked my yeah. best friend. I, I, me? You fucked the my best think, friend. Way, and you and my best friend put it in the book. Yeah, the way why I would think, the fuck would I still yeah, fuck with you? The way I think I wouldn't I couldn't do it. What the fuck? Because I feel like one of the niggas should have told me by now. What? Yes. All of them knew though. Like you, you my homeboy. You should have told me or, or my girl, like, hey, we had a thing. I found out. You fucked my That's some shit you could have told me early. You fucked my homeboy. Or it just don't be said at all. And, and, that, and he bogus, bro. You gonna fuck her too? Yeah. Once she came on you. Bro, yeah, I would have never married her, bro. Yeah, homeboy status, you ain't supposed to bro, marry. I, like my niggas' girlfriends is off limit forever. No matter if they broke up, man, they off always off limit. Come, always gonna say that's your girl, bro. You fucked, like, and he, and he still married. Like, I, I, I was just telling my girl, like, bro, that nigga was wrong. I would never married her, bro. I wouldn't, I wouldn't either. Like, I you know, movie shot make have a good ending, but when yeah. you really think about that shit. Yeah, and then he was—he about to say that. I do. He said he got her getting back, <laughs> backstroke, nigga. Oh, he got, <laughs> and she gave him the—he gave her the gentle kiss. Like, come on, and this nigga yeah. still my best man. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm old enough to understand, bro. He, no, no, I, for I, sure. I, I used to love that movie, but nah. Because I'm at the fact that nigga, you—you you been seeing me with her for years now. Because this is y'all in college. I'm in the NFL now, man. so that been a good eight years in between. Man, somebody should have told me something. I should have said something off the rip. Like, hey, you know, because you he knew that they was homies beforehand. Give me a decision to make if and I'm going to still be with up. Her. Yeah. So give me a decision to, if I'm going to still fuck with her or not. Like, let me know right then and there. Hey, I found out you were cheating on old girl, so I fucked um, my mans. Like, let me know. Let me yeah, know. Yeah, bro. She was, she was, he was, she was bogus. I could have found that y'all day before my wedding and still married the motherfucker. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, yeah. Right. Why would you? Yeah. You know, this fuck nigga, he, he, told, he don't give a fuck about nothing. He went, man, still good. Man. It's just homie man. shit, too. Like, if it was a. I can't do it. I rather you fuck a random nigga than my dog. Yeah, facts. Okay. Yeah, like, and then I still gotta be friends with you, nigga. Then we still talking. Like, come on, this is fake ass nigga. <laughs> then you gonna put it in the book. Yeah. You a whole ass nigga. But, he's, but I always said, like I told my wife, he was stupid for even writing that book. Yeah, he was. But it, it, it put him on. I mean, it did. It got him rich. It got him rich. But then it's like, what you gonna do to make money? Yeah. Now you can sell out your friends and you. Know, yeah, because in the second one, he's messy again for real. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Messy like, again. you would learn your lesson, like, hey, man, can I write this book about you, though? I need it. I'm, I'm broke, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I need help, nigga. Like, I think he would did it, though. But yeah, that shit. Yeah. Looking at that shit, you for sure. I for sure couldn't have fuck. I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, that shit was bogus. I could have did it, dog. Like, yeah, nigga, fuck that shit, bro. <laughs> this nigga, like, baby, I still love you. <laughs> no. We've been together too long to end like this. 
shit. I can love you, but I ain't gotta be. I ain't gotta marry you. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. Now I forgot to ask you this mm -hmm. beforehand because we always end every episode with a drunk moment or a high moment. A story of you a drunk or a high, but a lot of niggas get on this show and I ask them this question. That's why I like to ask it pre pre show. Mm -hmm. And they be like, oh man, I drunk some motherfucking Hennessy, nigga. I don't remember what happened. And that'd be a story. Oh, no, I got him. I know one. Right, I got a drunk story, bro. So, uh, <laughs> this is around the time my boy Big Ant died. We had a big we had a big party. This is at camp. This is around 2016. Mm -hmm. 2016. Damn. You probably drinking cheap, too. Bro, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I didn't even buy no liquor, bro. Mm -hmm. It's just... You know everybody just fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, what up, bro? Everybody just throwing me. I'm I'm taking back everything, Hennessy, everything. I'm just drinking, drinking. Bro, I got a picture in my phone, bro. <laughs> I got the picture in my phone, bro. I went to my car. I got so I sat in the car. I'm about to leave. We had a big old picnic. Uh, I I was like I couldn't move. I'm like, dog. I ain't never felt like this ever <laughs> in my life. I'm like, I call people on my phone, bro. I can't move. I can't move. Yeah. I'm calling my homeboys and shit. Like, bro, where y'all at? I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> bro, they put me in the back seat. When we get in front of the uh the uh we get in front of the building, yeah. bro, I threw up all over the back seat. Did your car? Yes, oh, my dude. Good. I'm trying to see if I got the picture, bro. I for sure got the picture. Yeah. Like I'm just throwing up, like just just laying it all out, like. <laughs> Cause you know what I'm saying, Eric, but my man's died earlier that year, and we yeah. just had a big party, mm -hmm. and uh, it was like a uh, damn, where this shit at? <laughs> yeah, you definitely gonna have to send it so I can put it. In. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. Cause I, I threw up. I just remember throwing up everywhere, bro. Yeah. Like I was just, I was just through. Don't tell me I deleted that picture. It happened in 2016, but yeah. but yeah, like I just got drunk and uh, I had to get drove back home. I threw up all in the back of my seat, back of my car to go to my girl room at the time. Yeah. And then I woke up in time for the party at night. Yeah. So, damn, yo, it so, wasn't yeah, late. Yeah, yeah, it was early in the day. <laughs> so now I woke up in time to go to the party at night. And no. then, and then we, uh, I'm here, go right here. Really no. fast started early. Uncle motherfucking Wayne, man. Hey, hey Spank, why you acting like a thot, man? Yeah, man? You threw up in your shit? At least it's your shit. <laughs> This nigga was dead. I was dead, bro. bro. I was dead. Yeah, you know, he nigga was legit dead. Look at this. Bro, I'm, I'm gone. Damn. Yeah, bro. I was off everything. That's the one thing. At least it's your yeah. shit, bro. Hey, no, I was through, dog. And then later on that night, um, we, we had Jacquees came to the school. And uh, me and my girl at the time, uh, we went, whatever. You know, I was drunk or whatever. Yeah. I woke up like, man, where the fuck you going? I mean, I was... Duh. So you started with your girls here? Yeah, she was. She was some shit. I was like, man, you better not go out the fuck house like that. Fuck around with you. I be tripping, bro. I be like, yeah. I can't control no woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, she, sure. I'm like, man, what the fuck you doing? You know, I'm, she changed, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was tripping, but she did change, though. Duh, then, I can't believe this nigga still went out, nigga. Yeah, I went out. But then after the show... She got mad. I start throwing up again. I'm dry. Blah, blah, blah. Just still dumb. letting it out. I'm like, dog, what the hell, bro? Like, <laughs> and then we finally got home. You know what I'm saying? What's sleeping stuff? But like, I was, yeah, that dog. day. Yeah, you fucked wild. up. I had a lot of drunk moments and a lot of high moments. Yeah, dog. You fucked up, dog. Now, you saying like, with your, uh, you, you didn't like the way she was dressing. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, um, of course, I don't want to, you know, I, if yeah. I'm being disrespectful, nah, you know, you good, you good. with your daughter, when she get a certain age, are you going to still like, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't with certain age. Hopefully, I teach her at For sure. age yeah, now that yeah. she would know. Like, don't be all. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. I have a daughter. She has to be a representation of herself, bro. For niggas, sure. you can, you can't just walk up down the street wearing what you want to wear. That's how niggas. One, that's what prostitutes do. Mm -hmm. So a nigga can easily pull you up to the side. Exactly. Hey, bitch, what's up? Exactly, and that's how you gonna, gonna get yeah. it. Then you gonna be like, uh, no, no. But look what the fuck you got on. Yeah, exactly. Now exactly. you mad at me because I'm bitch. Look, you you selling pussy to me? Yeah, no, exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My daughter ain't might be out, and you a lady. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You gonna hold yourself as a lady. We're mm -hmm. not about to just go out here and just dress in your type of way you know yeah, like for hold sure. yourself as a lady no like, you get you do you like, do like, fuck all that's my i guess it's your body but you're gonna respect it as, yeah as well because you know then because women be dressed a certain way and be wondering why all these niggas like talking to them all the time talk crazy. to them all crazy yeah. i just want to fuck you know yeah, I, but, you, like you, why you, would i want to you like an easy hit easy hit. yeah easy so, hit yeah easy man hit, but. hell yeah man shout out to the dance with dars man make yeah, sure y'all get right Getting right, duh, for real. Make sure I get them sons right too. Make sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm so yeah. happy. About, I see that both my kids like uh, girls and shit. Like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, daddy doing something right at home. <laughs> now I gotta make sure my daughter like boys, Boy. but then they'll be a hoe at the same time. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, that's that's hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you got it's two now. Like, like, my son. Oh, you like girls? Hell yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just explaining your explaining our that's all. our daughters. Like, hey, talk to my guy. You talk to your son. Yeah, talk like, to her. That 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 what you have down there is very important. You just can't let anybody into. Dog, I tell him that same shit. Dog, treat your 
your shit like gold. Yeah. Like it's hard for niggas to get gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just treat it like no, treat it like a dollar, nigga. Everybody had you, dollar. Like, if you let somebody in, now you gonna have feelings for it. Now this person might not even have feelings for it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because women uh, adaptably just grab, you know, grab feelings for yeah. it. And they say they can just fuck niggas and not just, Hell nah. you know, but no. They have some type of emotion attached to that person. So, mm-hmm. you know, you just don't want to just give your shit up out of here. You know what I'm saying? You want to yeah, be yeah. home, warm. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, no, no. Nah, no. that's a fact. Hell yeah. No, you want to be respected. You know what I'm saying? I don't know not one person that respect a hoe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know not one nigga that respect a hoe. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Fact. I could be wrong, but like, I don't know one nigga that respect a hoe. Yeah, know? exactly. I, no, he, he disrespect her, trying all type Man. of shit he would do to his lady. Man. Dig. Man. <laughs> Nigga mm. smacking her, nigga choking Smackin her. Nigga choking her, motherfucker calling her a bitch, all kinds of stuff like, man. Never do that shit. He, he treat his woman gently, nigga. Yeah, he gonna get a side chick. Like, 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 what people don't understand, you know, and like also like, a lot of women get respect off the nigga they fucking with too. Mm-hmm. You fucking with like a ham ass nigga, nigga that ain't like, he, he like a bitch, nigga ain't gonna yeah, for sure. fuck your nigga. Hell What's yeah. up, girl? <laughs> hell Sometimes yeah, women sure. got, make sure they pick the right dude too. Nah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Man, man it was a pleasure having you on this oh, motherfucker, yeah, dog. man. It was talking, long, man. Long overdue, man. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, long man. I, I, don't, I don't know how I missed the last so, one. So, shit, I ain't had Breaking Machine on here. Yeah. I had, I had, Daisy I had her. Kid Hill on here. You did? Yeah. Oh, that's hard. I had one before he had the podcast. He said he was going to give me another show. He never did. <laughs> <laughs> that, I must have been guest number one. Nigga. He, he sold me a drink. Nigga. I had motherfucking um, Meet the Connect. Mm. I had the Connect the Experience, the twins, where y'all mm. used to be at. Yeah, I had some, some dope podcasts on this motherfucker, though. Yeah, man. Keep Hell going, yeah. man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, keep going, man. I think a lot of podcasters don't like other podcasts on the show just because, you know. Man, I do shit. We yeah. in the same field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. we're bringing our, our audience together. For sure. Hell Duh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Matter of fact, I had... money out here for everybody. I had, uh, I had uh, a door on my uh, 100 episode. I had all females on the uh, my 100 mm. episode who, do, who was doing different shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, shout out to Daniel Dora. You know what I'm saying? I'm all, yeah. I love them, man. Hell yeah. Them. Hell yeah, but shit, man. You got anything you want to leave the people with? Some positive words? Uh, yeah, just uh, stay to it, man. Winning is uh, winning is hell. Mm-hmm. You got to run and winning. You can't, hey, you can't sit down. You got to go run to that motherfucker. So remember, winning is no crowd. Mm-hmm. So continue to win the day. And remember, it's you by yourself. But hey, it's worth it. For sure, for sure, man. You already know what it is, man. Shout out to A by episode one seventy one, oh, man. Yeah. Spank That's... the bank, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Break the machine. Let's get it, man. Shout out to A by. You already know what it is, man. Ain't no competition. If it is, I don't see it. Holla at y'all. Holla at you.